yeah, there's a problem. He says, what? Ain't no brothers in the game. <laughs> <laughs> and then two weeks later, they came back with another sketch that I got at home, the original sketches from John Tobias of Jax. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, and then, you know, and I said, I ain't that damn ripped, but, <laughs> I mean, that's cool. Who's that? He said, you, if you want to do it. I'm like, really? Do I get paid? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm in. <laughs> um, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to No Offense. Uh, we got the one and only John Parrish here today. Thank you so much for coming out. We appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. Appreciate Thank you it. for inviting me. Of course. Yeah. So uh, give us a little bit of background on who you are. You've done a lot of insane things. You're in a lot of stuff right now, business-wise, entertainment. Uh, give well, us the lowdown. I'm the original uh, Jax from Mortal Kombat. This is our 30th year anniversary. Oh, wow. So, you know, um, we'll be doing a lot of autograph signing, traveling all over the place. Um, I'm a gymnast, martial artist. Um, used to be a DJ for those who <laughs> heard. <laughs> I mean, way back in the house days, okay, with the Hot Mix 5 and all of that stuff. So um, I'm ex-military, so I'm a vet. So um, we, uh, my background is, uh, is multifaceted. I do a lot of different things. I say. run businesses. I have four of them that we're running right now. Oh, wow. Beyond Human Fitness, we have Fit Body Boot Camp. I have first computer experts, and then I also do coaching for bodybuilding, and I compete. So I constantly do a lot of things. Now, I wasn't going to compete this year, but that it's just coming back. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, because I keep looking at, you know, at the state of the union right now, and I'm like, God, this is going to be very expensive. But mm -hmm. as we get closer to October, I'm like... I think I can do this show. <laughs> yeah. How how much, uh, I mean, the preparation's just grueling, I would assume, right? Like, what's the hardest part of prep for the competition, would you say? Diet. Yeah. Diet is where everybody sure. fails. That's yeah. like the 24-7 piece. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. you can't, you can't, you can skip a workout every now and then. You can mm -hmm. even get a cold and a flu, mm -hmm. but you cannot screw up the diet. That is... Uh, the number one thing to be conditioned to get your skin grainy, uh, to be ripped. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is the leanest I've stayed ever for off season in a bodybuilding. You know, if if I'm gonna do a show. Yeah. So I'm at 225 pounds right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Normally I'm at 250. Oh wow. wow. Yeah. So this is a lot different. Yeah. This is you know my body likes it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> easier to walk upstairs, yeah. you know, and put on good clothes, you know. But um, it is one of the hardest things to do is, to, you know, like I tell people, I said, that's what's going to make and break you. Yeah. Especially when you get in the last four weeks, people just fall off the diet and they just screw everything up. Yeah, well, because I imagine like the month before, you're just like tired of it because you've been going so oh, hard. No, yeah, and it gets very, worse, right? It gets tighter. Well, I mean... Normally, I would diet for 12 to 16 weeks if I was at 250. But since I'm at 225, I only need four weeks to diet now. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. You start off right before Yeah, that. so I'm like, well, let's see. We got a couple of family reunions coming up. And, <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, I said, I think I, and if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it right after the last, the, for the last family reunion on the 23rd. And then go right into October and be pristine. But that is the hardest part, the diet. Everything else, I mean, it, it's very expensive. It's, um, people think golf is expensive. Yeah. Golf is really cheap compared to a bodybuilder mm. because bodybuilders have to keep spending money month and week after week and mm. month after month constantly. Mm -hmm. Okay. So by the time I, I added it up one year and I said, I just spent six G's. For a 12 week. That's oh my lord. <laughs> <That's insane. laughs> yeah, I mean, because wow. I mean, because we have to travel, hotel, because uh, I only compete out of state now. Mm. And it's, and it's, you know, I mean, now that the rental cars are off the chart, hotels, you know, I can get discounts on those. I do have sponsors. Mm -hmm. Capital Nutrition is one of my sponsors. So, they pay for all my supplements, thank God. Oh, that's awesome. That's that a helps big part out. Because well, I'm going to tell you, protein powder, I mean, I go through, see, each jug is five pounds. So in a 12-week cycle, normally I would go through uh, 40 pounds. 
No. Oh my <laughs> lord! Yeah, forty pounds. Forty, 40 pounds, pounds of just protein powder, oh. and it's no <laughs> almond milk, just pure water, and that's just protein powder. We're not talking about now that beef is what seventeen ninety nine a pound. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, shit. my coach requires me. Jim Swanson says, "Okay, you need to eat about two pounds a day." Two pounds a day. A day. A day. That is not including chicken. And fish, what? Rice that's just beef. And oatmeal, that's wow. just a beef. Wow. Okay, so I mean, because that because everything went up now. Yeah. Back in the day, it was you know seven ninety nine. I'm like, yeah, yeah I, no problem. I can go to GFS, go to Costco, get me a case or something. Mm-hmm. But now I'm like, <laughs> how do you even keep the appetite to eat all that? I know, all yeah, day? it's very hard. Like it's, it's, yeah, it, you know, because he always asks me after every week. He says, "Did you get it all down?" Well, I got up to meal five. Okay, that last meal, that last protein shake, I just want to go to bed. Yeah. Okay. It almost ruins eating. Kind yeah, of. I mean, you <laughs> don't want to eat. I mean, I don't, right now, I don't even eat fish. Really? All right. You ate too much of it? I, just... I, well, when you do 12 weeks of just fish, yeah. every single, I mean, you're talking about six times a day. I mean, like, oh, God, no. you know, be and then beef it. is like, do I really want to cook this? Mm-hmm. You know, because you have to, you know, you have to have lean beef. Mm-hmm. Okay, you can't have garlic butter on top. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, none of that. You 93 know, ninety three seven. I mean, and and then we delete what we call all your seasoning. So now you're eating dry meat. Oh, <laughs> okay. That's gross. That's okay, I mean, there's no salt. There's no, no salt. There's no no. That's it. No salt. <laughs> no salt. There's no sugar in your oatmeal. You got to get stevia. Okay, it uh. It's it's truly a journey. That's why I say yeah. everybody fails. Mm-hmm. You know, they say they want to compete. Some guys look real great, but then all of a sudden, as soon as you say diet, they're like, <laughs> oh, <yep>. they like <laughs> I say, no, well, you can't eat this, you can't eat that, okay, you can't do this, you can't do that. And then your training your training is is almost two hours a day. Oh wow. Constant. So I mean that's including your cardio. Vascular, which is only 20, 30 minutes. Okay. Depends on how lean you are to begin with. And then it becomes truly interesting. Yeah. Okay. And then when you get into that last four weeks, you just, you know, if you, you know, whenever I coach athletes, I have to have them bring in their significant other <laughs> so they can understand what's about to happen. Oh, uh, okay. Because when you get into that last four weeks, the mind, Needs the sugar, but you can't. We're not giving it sugar, mm-hmm. so we always say that bodybuilders at that particular time are more moody than the pregnant woman. <laughs> I believe that. I can I see that. that. <laughs> okay, I mean, because it 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 just like don't talk to me. I don't care. But then I have to explain to them that everybody else around you, your family, they're not going through it. You mm-hmm. chose to go through this, so don't treat them like shit. Yeah. Oh, that's a good point, yeah. Okay, <laughs> don't treat them like shit, otherwise you will regret it later in life. Just try to maintain, and it, it took years for me to you know, to understand and learn that. I mean, it's, it, it's not an overnight thing. I imagine, yeah. Yeah, it's, not, it's, not, it's not like my first time, I'm going to jump in the show, <laughs> and I'm going to be fine, and then I'm going to curse my wife out, my kids out, <laughs> yeah. my mother out. You know, because I have friends who, I mean, I'm like, dude, that's your mother. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Even on Father's Day, I had one guy, you know, he just was just, you know, everybody looked at him like, it's Father's Day. You don't understand. I'm, I'm in the middle of my cut. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I know. Is that, you know, and I said, but I'm with you. I'm... I, I'm I, dude, and no, don't blame me. Okay, it's you. I told you what was going to happen. Mm-hmm. Okay, I said you got to learn how to. That's when the Zen effect comes in. Hum, yeah, <laughs> hum. A lot of meditation. Okay. Put some incense on. I don't care what it's going to tell you. <laughs> yeah. to. Go sit in the sauna or something. I said, but you don't want to do that to the family because they will resent you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. That's something that not a lot of people talk about, honestly. Like just having like the, the effects process. of that process. Yeah, yeah. I mean, about everyone around you. you yeah, know? it's about the people around you. I mean, going through the, the the whole thing, you know, it's fine in the beginning. You get the itch. You start going through it. Then you're like, "Why am I doing this?" Mm-hmm. Okay. The next yeah. thing you know, when you get to that last four weeks, 
and then you're cursing out your family, that is not a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> that, I mean, especially when you got a wife who's supporting you, you got kids, you, you know, you got parents, you got, and then if you do it like this time of the year, which is the middle of the summer, Come on, we got the Fourth of July, Father's Day. Yeah, I was Day. just thinking that. So yeah, yeah, a lot yeah. of celebrations, <laughs> everything that you like miss out on. Oh yeah, like, yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah. only thing you can do, and then you sit at a table. And only thing you can eat is salad. How could you not oh, be pissed? Can't, you can't. Drink. <laughs> I mean, pissed. How could you not too? be pissed? Off? Yeah, you can't drink. You can't go to dinner with your. Oh, with your you can go to dinner, but it's not can't fun. eat. But it, it's yeah. like. What can I order on the menu? You're gonna be talking yeah. to the waiters. Don't put any salt like, on make this. Yeah, taste, don't put no salt make this on taste it. Taste as bad as you can. <laughs> <laughs> Just give it to All me. All the wrong. normal preparation. Don't do that. Yeah. yeah. And then when they go out of town, if they're working, I mean, like, and they have to, you know, entertain their clients. I'm like, you know, and they would call me and they say, "What can I eat?" I said, "Do they have steak mm. and a potato and broccoli?" Yeah, that's what you eat. And there's no salt on any of it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, that's like, that's, 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 that's a fine dish. Like that, that tastes amazing until you take out all the stuff that makes it taste good. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. yeah. so I told him, I said, no, we don't do that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I said, and I said, well, are you going to be on a yard? Hmm. Are you going to be in a suit? What kind? What, what are you going to be in? You know, John, I got to wear this thing. You know, I said, well, just put a bag of almonds in your pocket. Oh. That's all you can eat. Yeah, it's just hot. <laughs> Until to, you get back <laughs> to the hotel. <laughs> that takes a lot of discipline. Oh, no, oh it, my it, God. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of discipline. Yeah. You know, and, and it takes years to learn. Yeah. You know, a lot of young guys don't don't get that. You know, they think when I look the way I look, they're like, oh, yeah, man, I want to look like you. No, you don't. Mm-hmm. No, 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 you don't. <laughs> just trust me. It's it's not what it's cracked up to be. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I said, I said, I do this every single day. Mm-hmm. Okay, I said, however... I will have some ice cream every now and then. Yeah. And I will have my Jack Daniels and Coke. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I said, so that will happen. Okay. I life. said, now, when I'm getting ready for show, Nothing. you know, it's hell on wheels. How often do you let yourself, when you're like in the off season, have like have a little Jack and Coke or ice cream or kind of cheat a little bit? Oh, I can do that every day. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Okay. I tell people, I said, no, I, no, I have my Jack and Coke and, you know, Coke with no sugar, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. that's the key. Mm-hmm. It's always the yeah. key because Jack Daniels, that whiskey does not have, it only has 65 grams of carbs for a shot. And it has, uh, not 65 grams of carbs, but 65 calories, oh, but it has no carbs, no sugar. So if, the coke is to cut some of the flavor, so. <laughs> oh, that's why he looks like that. He loves that's Jack. Right. That's right. Yeah. 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 Otherwise, it would be it's huge. the sugar. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's all about it. it's what's going to be in it. Like a, a white liquor has a lot of sugar. Mm-hmm. Okay. Most brown ones do not. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I was surprised. I, I always thought Jack Daniels. Uh, from what I thought, I thought it had a lot. I just like looking at it, it seems like a sweet. You know, like Jack is kind of sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I thought no. Now. Regular Jack Daniels number seven. Uh uh-uh. uh. That's Tennessee good. whiskey. Uh uh-uh. uh. Wow. Yep. There we There's go. The, there, there you go. Dom's, Dom's like, I knew I'd be making the right, I knew I'd be making the right decisions. <laughs> okay. and, and it's a sipping whiskey. Mm-hmm. Uh, we still be busted. We don't gulp that. It mm-hmm. is not a shot game that you play. Mm-hmm. It's a sipping whiskey. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I said, so I can sit at home, work on my computers, work, watch a little TV, have some sips. Fine. But now once I get ready for show... That's the first thing that goes. Yeah. And boy, I'll be mad. (laughs) Damn. Damn. I got to deal with these people. (laughs) I need a drink. I I feel like a lot of guys don't realize, like, like, especially, like, the science of just, like, you know, the calories and, like, what you need to put in your body. It's, It's like, it definitely has really, like, really a science behind it, especially, like, the final week. I don't know exactly what it entails, but, like, you know, cutting down all the water and all that. I feel like it's a lot of... Well, yeah. I mean, the whole thing is a science. Yeah. It's exercise physiology. Uh, Doctors don't even know. Okay, it is, it's, it's nothing, like I tell people, I say, this is nothing that you, even in the military, you wouldn't go through this. Mm. Okay, I mean, you know, when I was in the military, I mean, we just ate. You yeah. know, they gave us junk. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the hell they gave us. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but we just ate it because we, we were hungry after running all damn day and doing push-ups. But when you're doing bodybuilding, I said, no, in order to look like what you see on YouTube. Now, remember, those guys on YouTube, when you see them in the contest, they only look that way for 30 hours. 
Good point. It's a good point. That's a really yeah. good point. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. once that show is over, and they get the trophy or a medal or whatever the hell they're getting, we go straight back to the room, find everything we can possibly <laughs> eat. <laughs> okay. <It's his> scarf. <laughs> okay. You, you shouldn't do it, but we do. I mean, I tell everybody, I said, don't do it. Don't do it. It's not going to, especially with a lot of salt, like pizza. Everybody mm -hmm. loves pizza. Yeah. I said, but the problem is the show is over on Saturday night. You wave in, got your medal, you're looking all good and shit, you're all oiled up, you go back to the hotel, you rinse off, everybody go get some food. Then Tuesday, your ankles look like Elephant Man. <laughs> <laughs> you, you just blow just, up you right just, away? Just the ankles. Oh, really? Yeah, just, yeah wow. just the ankles. That's weird. Because the kidneys can't process oh, that much sodium. Yeah. You, you haven't had any. Wow. That's insane. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> That's insane. and it doesn't hurt. Yeah, it just says you wake up just one morning body. and, damn, the, the sock can't get out. <laughs> 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 they fit two days ago. <laughs> what the hell? Then you know, then your shoes just like. Now I gotta have a separate pair of shoes. So I can slide <laughs> right. my feet size eleven, I'm size rebound. fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> what is your uh, opinion? Uh, there's a lot of people who have like opinions about like the current state of bodybuilding and like you know. You know, being like the gigantic size that they are now, do you are you more of like a classic physique type of like the Arnold days, or are you do you lean more towards like you know like the colors the, of the world? And yeah. The, well, they changed everything. Because um, when I was out for twenty years and I came back, then they had the physique. That's the guys with the board shorts. Mm -hmm. You know, no legs, no calves, but mm -hmm. nice V yeah. taper. Then they came out with classic physique about seven years ago, which is more of the Frank Zane, mm -hmm. yeah. where you have you know wider legs and you pose. But I said, I came up in the era where we were all the same. Mm -hmm. We didn't have all of these classes. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, it was just bodybuilding. That was it. You know, and me, I'm just a bodybuilder. I could never be a classic physique because they have a height requirement and a uh, weight requirement at the exact same time. Oh, really? Hmm. Yeah. And it's no way in hell I could meet either of those. <laughs> you know, because, I mean, I said, ooh, no, 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 no. I said, I, I weigh 225. Mm -hmm. And they want me to be at one. Then think about it. They want me to be at 196 pounds Damn. at this height. Wow. Wow. That's and you're crazy. 225 or not. Yeah, a different and body. I'm like, I couldn't get to that weight you unless I, I... Skeleton. Look, oh, <laughs> yeah. that, that would just look sickly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that you would know, not look good. I'm like, and the whole object is, is you start off as physique if that's if you're going to go into this field, and then you have to go to classic. Then you go to bodybuilding open. That's the progression. But I said, we started off just as bodybuilders. Body. Yeah. You know, we didn't... You know, I mean, if you want to be physique, some guys just want to stay in that specific spot, okay? Because in order to be a bodybuilder, you have to eat, mm -hmm. okay? And you have to lift very, you know, on a consistent basis heavy. So it all depends on what you're trying to do. Yeah. Okay? So, I mean, me, I'm just a bodybuilder, mm -hmm. okay? So whenever I compete, I compete in masters and open. Open is any age group. Masters is... I'm 57, so I compete uh, 50 and above. Gotcha. Okay. I don't lose, but. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> well, no, in the Masters, I never lose. Damn. Never lose. I saw your, I was That's doing awesome. some research. I was, I was looking at one of your posts. He's got like fucking 100 medals in, his, in your office area. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, because, because you have to do more than just lift. Mm -hmm. You know, I do obstacle course racings. Which is like the Spartans, mud, mm -hmm. uh, muddy oh, dash, and all that. So I do all of that, and we do like eight of those a year. Well, that's awesome. Oh wow! That's oh yeah! Really cool. Oh yeah! So and, and you did kung fu, right? Yep, kung yeah. fu. Yeah, um, it was Northern Shaolin. Uh, I dabbled in Taekwondo, Thai kickboxing, Muay Thai. Um, you know, I'm a fitness trainer, so I incorporate even those moves into the training. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I, you know, with music always though. Mm -hmm. A lot yeah, of functional, yeah. a lot of functional stuff. Always functional. I mean, you know, I mean, I don't expect people to do what I do. Yeah. Okay. It's different. You're doing something. Di yeah. You're doing something different than what. But the average person. The average person, no, they need to be functional. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, you walk outside, and then I had a lot of you know family members who got older, <laughs> and they break a hip. Mm -hmm. 
Well, once they break a hip and they're about 60, 70 years old, it's a downhill slide. Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. Okay, yeah. so I'm trying to teach everybody balance. You know, so when I do functional training, it's not just about doing certain movements and squatting and lunges. I said it's about balance, keeping your body mobile all of the time, just in case. Say if there was ice out there mm -hmm. and no one saw to the sidewalk. Mm -hmm. Okay, get an old person out there who's feeble. Yeah, they slip, break a hip. Yeah, done. They're yeah. done. You know, yeah. I mean, I said it's just a matter of a countdown. But if they've been training. Especially with me. I mean, I got I got a lady right now. She's 70 years old. Oh, wow. And if you look at her, you would not think that. That's, That's awesome. awesome. Yeah. Okay. And then her husband, he has a neuromuscular disease, and he still comes to the class. You know, he can't do every single movement, but he gives it his best shot. And, you know, they're very functional. Mm-hmm. You know, and that's the whole object is to be functional. I don't care about, you know, I mean, how much weight you lift. Even yeah. when I go to the gym, I tell people, I said, weight is relative to the individual lifting it. Mm -hmm. When you look at YouTube and all of those guys lifting weights, I said, oh, yeah, that's a lot of goddamn weight. Except for Ronnie <laughs> Coleman. <Yeah. laughs> I said, that's a lot of weight. I said, but they only do that for film. Mm -hmm. True. It's content. Oh, true. Yeah, they're not always. Yeah. No, I've <laughs> trained with them. Really? No, we do not train like <laughs> plates. <laughs> you know, oh, I got to put on 30 plates on the leg press. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and why are we doing this? Yeah. You know. For video. <laughs> yeah, it's for, for a video because somebody's filming them. But when, when they're just training, you don't see guys sitting up there with 90-pound dumbbells curling. Mm -hmm. 30, maybe 40 at the most. Mm -hmm. Are you working when you're doing that and you're going towards, if you're doing like a bodybuilding competition, are you guys mostly incorporating low or high weight, low reps? Or do you, is it like a mix up thing? It's always a mix up. Yeah. You got to go with Arnold Schwarzenegger's um, mantra. When you go to the gym, if you ask me, what am I working today? And I say, I'm working chest. Do not ask me, are you going to do bench? Are you going to do this? I said, I have no idea what I'm going to do. Mm. Have absolutely you no. Know, even all my classes I teach, I tell them, I said, I make these things up 30 minutes before you, I send them out to you in an email. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay? I said, because if I told you what you were going to do, okay, day in and day out, you're going to plateau in two weeks. Mm -hmm. Then you won't grow. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, or achieve whatever you're trying to achieve. So, no, I just go in and I say, okay, you know, if it's five o'clock in the evening, you know that's where I shower at the gym. Mm -hmm. I mean, some machines won't be open. Mm -hmm. That's true. Okay. If I go in first thing in the morning, ain't no one there. No one. <laughs> okay. So I'm like, oh, free for all. Yeah. yeah. You know, I just start grabbing stuff, you know, and just <laughs> go, you know, until the muscle is exhausted. It's like a Not, feeling thing, right? It's, uh, like, it's, yeah, like it's a always feeling. a feeling. Yeah. You got to listen to the body. I, I don't. I don't go off of, you know, I mean, the, you do have reps 12 to 15, 15 to 20. You know, it all depends on you. Yeah. Okay, but a high rep, low rep thing, the low rep is five by fives, three by threes. That's for power lifters only. Okay, but when you're just working out, body, everybody does bodybuilding and they don't even know it. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. even know. You, you can call it, what do they call it on the news? Sculpting, toning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's the same thing. Yeah. Okay? The yeah. only difference is as a competitive bodybuilder, we tend to go a little bit longer into the extreme. Mm -hmm. The average person, I say, look, 45 minutes, y'all should be done in and out of the gym. Mm -hmm. For sure. Okay? Yeah. And you don't take a phone with you. Oh, come on. That's the hardest part. <laughs> that is the hardest That's part. the hardest part, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> just buy an iPod or something. No, like you don't iPod. just bring your headphones yeah, 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 you in buy and do it. iPod put it, yeah. and put it on a track. Yeah. And just let it roll. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, just let it roll and then do your workout. Go change or shower and yeah. get your ass back home. You're not mixing the DJ days in there too. You're not <laughs> oh, no, oh, no. I don't do them. No, I don't do that anymore. I mean, because there's certain stations that I download music from yeah. that has an hour straight mixes of the stuff that I like to listen to. Yeah. Right. Okay. And I do know DJs and I can just call them up. Yo, here's a hundred dollars. Whip up this type of music. That's sweet. And, That's then, cool. and then they send me an MP3 via Gmail or something, and then I'll load it up into my iPod and just go. 
That's that's awesome. the way. What do you think about like uh, splits? Like how everyone has like different ideas, like opinions mm. on like chest tries, back buys. That like that's like the classic one. But how do you mix it up? I just do. Just whatever. Yeah, or? I mean, I mean, I do. No, well, let me put, let me phrase it a different way. Like if I'm doing chest. It depends on who I'm doing chess with and if I'm by myself. I can do chess and tries mm -hmm. because they work in conjunction. Right. Okay, if I'm doing back, it'll be back and box. Mm -hmm. If I'm doing legs, it's just legs. Yeah. Right. It ain't yeah. nothing else. Yeah. Yeah. People miss like mixed shoulder in there a lot too. Some yeah, that's a, that's some, a some, some, Greek yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I uh, mix shoulders in there, but I do shoulder because I teach. I do shoulders six times a week. Mm -hmm. So my shoulders are shot. Like today, yeah. me and my boy worked out, and I said, well, what do you want to work out? No back, because we did back on Tuesday, and, mm -hmm. and it's still sore. <laughs> <Okay>? <laughs> We're not doing back, okay? And legs, no. No, no, no way. No, 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 no. <laughs> We're today. not doing legs. I said, because I have to drive all the way to St. Charles. I'm going to be sitting in that Jeep, okay? <laughs> and I don't want them to cramp up <laughs> while, I'm, while I'm driving. And he's like, he says, well, chest sounds good. Let's do chess. Yeah. But I said, there is no shoulders. <laughs> There's no shoulders, okay? And we didn't do triceps, you know? I mean, because, yeah. I mean, you don't really need to. A lot of people think you got to do triceps all by themselves. I said, some days yes, some days no. But if you're doing a lot of pressing movements, those triceps are working mm. all of the time. That's the main, the second main mover. Mm. Okay, your chest really isn't doing anything. I mean, if you, it depends. If you, I don't do bench press, mm -hmm. so I only do dumbbells. So when you're coming in, all this is working. Mm -hmm. So by the time I'm finished, say 40 sets of chest, triceps are done. Yeah, yeah. that's a good yeah. point. Okay. Yeah. Okay. If I'm doing a bunch of rows, okay, lifting weights, biceps are done. Mm -hmm. Okay. The shoulders are the main stabilizer in, in all of the movements. So I'm mm -hmm. like, hey, why? <laughs> Good point. Why? I, I said, you know, I said, and then, you know, and then you see some guys, they go to the gym and they do an inclined bench press. I said, and then they get up and they rub their shoulders. I said, yeah. What were you working? Yeah. And they said, chess. Well, then why are you rubbing your shoulders? Incline always fucks Incline the shoulders does, up. Yeah. Be it because it's at the does. wrong angle. Yeah. The gyms have the, the benches. Set They're at like 45, up. <laughs> 45 degrees. Yeah. That's all shoulder. It's, mm -hmm. like, yeah, it's like supposed shoulder to be press. at 30 yeah. degrees down here. Mm. Okay. And you should be using dumbbells, not a barbell. Mm. Yeah, I think bench just causes a lot of inj injuries. Oh, my God. T tons of injuries. And a lot of, like, ego lifting. You, you oh, yeah. Up a lot and, and, that's, and then that's when you really get messed up. Yeah. Guys come in there, throw on two plates. Mm-hmm. Then all of a sudden they come down, and then two days later, you know, shot, they yeah. shot. You know, yeah. I had one guy. I mean, they at Broadview, LA Fitness, guy came in and he was crying in front of me. Shot. Okay, I'm like, what the hell were y'all doing? Oh, I know what y'all were doing. You were bench pressing, <laughs> and you put on too much weight. Yeah. Okay, and yeah, he tore his pecs. Oh, no way. God. Oh yeah. That would be terrible. Uh, my, my, my biggest fear is a bicep tear. Have you seen those? Yeah, yeah, those are the worst when they pop. Oh, yeah, you, you don't want it? you don't. Oh, you don't want that. No. <laughs> no. Those look that. bad. It they just, look. They look. That's why I stopped powerlifting. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I see guys deadlift. Back in the day, we had. See, now you can deadlift like this, and you can put straps on. Mm. Back in my day, you couldn't. You had to turn one hand this way, mm. and guys would pull up. And I would see, and I'm like, uh, yeah. God, that must be the worst pain. It looks so bad pain. in that, yeah. <laughs> no, actually, it, it's a shock at first because you You're don't like, know. Because you, you be, they're sitting up there pulling, all of a sudden it just snaps and rolls up. Ooh. And then I'm like, <laughs> I said, you know, this sport really isn't for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not worth it. Yeah, nah, no, right. I said, I mean, you know, and then, you know, you, you get them on YouTube, who will tell you? You got to be willing to die for this. I'm like, no, no. Even the motivational speakers, they'd be like, "It's how bad do you want it?" I mean, not that bad. I said, you, I said, I said, if if you can't breathe, then you got to keep doing it. I'm like, no, no, that's not how that works. I said, that looks painful. Yeah. I've seen guys' hamstrings. Yank up. Oh, Ooh. no way. Oh, yes, that. yeah, on that's a deadlift. Crazy. Oh. Yeah, on deadlift. And that's why I can't stand deadlifts to this day. 
Deadlifts seem to cause a lot of injuries, like back, like everything. Bad, yeah. bad form, I feel like. Yeah. It's very bad form. And that's it's a because. It's hard one to get good form at. I no, it's like. really not. No. You think uh, you knees behind your feet, right? What, no, it's how, how much, it's how much weight you're lifting. Mm -hmm. The body is not meant to the. What the hell are you going to do in the real world when you got to lift <laughs> 400 true. pounds off the ground? <laughs> <Very> <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point. Yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, I mean, that's that's what we call f the functionality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. What are you gonna do? Where I, I'm like, well, I'm not lifting 400. 400 Dude, you're what? an insurance broker. Why are you moving? <laughs> <laughs> you know, what am I gonna be doing? I mean, I'm not lifting. You know, I mean, I did it in contests a long time ago, and I'm like, man, I got up to 465 pounds. I was like, oh, we ain't doing this ever, no. uh, ever <laughs> again. I'm going to bodybuilding. <laughs> Powerlifting is now over. Okay. You know, and even the big strong men you see out there, how many times they herniated discs, broken back? Yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah. and, and, and you know, and I know a lot of them, like Shaw and the big guy who plays the mountain and uh, oh, oh yeah, Game yeah, of Thrones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I yeah. Mean, yeah. I mean, he, you know, and then Ronnie Coleman. Yeah. I'm like, I don't need no, no. Yeah. You as know, miserable as you get older, probably too. Oh like yeah. All those injuries oh, and, arthritis. Yeah. I mean, in you know, and then bodybuilders don't have insurance. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I guess not. Yeah, I guess <laughs> yeah. unless they have a real that. job, but yeah. they don't have insurance. So who's paying for all of that? That's a good point. Yeah. You know, I mean, and you know, and then insurance companies, because you're an insurance broker, yeah. are not <laughs> no, going to cover. He's not actually. No. Oh, no, I'm no, about no. to say they're not going to cover that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know, you try to get life insurance policy. They're not going to cover that. Yeah, that's true. They're like, your life is way too they, they yeah, like, too what is your yeah, job? Yeah, what do you do? I'm a bodybuilder. Yeah. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good point. Yeah. Okay. You know, we had to take the zero on that. <laughs> yeah. And then, of course, a lot of them take, you know, steroids and stuff. And when they're on steroids, you cannot definitely get an insurance policy. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You know, I mean, don't even go get a blood test. Yeah. Just, just, <laughs> just forget it. Yeah. Okay, you know. And I, I tell people, you know, and then some people ask me, John, do you take steroids? I said, well, when I'm competing, yes, I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I said, because I play with the big boys. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You have to. It's and I have to do option. that. Yeah, I said, it's not a natural show. I've already turned pro in that. And now, you know, it's... You know, it's not profitable for me. I said, so I play with the big boys. Yeah. Okay. And and is and you have to understand the science behind it. Yeah. There's a lot that goes behind that. All of that. Of the supplementation. Oh my it. god. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's a whole bunch that goes behind that. Yeah. You know, I mean, people talk about creatine and brands chains, protein powders. I said, well, no, you never heard of Masterone. You never heard of <laughs> Tensipinate, yeah. Decaduraballin. Yeah. You know, what's a Nandrolone versus what is a test? You know, and you know, what are the cutting agents? Mm -hmm. You know, then you. Have have um, clenbuterol, which is not even a steroid, but it's a cutting agent, but it's an asthma medication. Mm, yeah. <laughs> okay. Interesting, yeah. Okay, so, and then how do you take it? How long do you take it? How do you get off? Yeah, what do you take it with? How yeah, do you, what do you, do you take it with? Yourself? Yeah, how do yeah. you not mess yourself up? Yeah. You know, I said, did you get the blood panel, not a workup, a panel hmm. before you start? Mm -hmm. So you can see where all your levels are. Are you deficient in anything? Vitamin C, <laughs> D, E, A. You know, I mean, it's it's a giant science. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. You know, I mean, because you're messing with, and everybody's going to be different. You'll be different than him. You'll sure. be different than him. It's very different. So I tell people, I say, you know, when they come to me, I, I give them all of this. And I said, so before you make your decision, I'm going to send you an email with all of the information you need to know. <laughs> <laughs> then you make a decision and come back and talk to me. Yeah. Right. It's yeah. like what Lance Armstrong okay. said. He was saying, like, they, everyone put him on the spotlight when he got caught for his, you know, his steroid accusations. But he was just said, he's like, listen, everyone, if you're in my league where you're doing that, they're all doing it. It's exactly. like you're playing with the big boys. This yeah. is what they do. This is part of the competition. That's yeah. part of it. Yeah. So it's like, it's, they use him as like a kind of like a staple, like a, an uh, example, example, yeah. but it's like he's yeah. like everyone was doing it. Or like yeah, yeah, yeah. Adapt, he was so. blood. He was yeah. blood doping. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, and I said well, everybody does that. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I said you look at the NFL. How in the hell you get? You know, back in the day, kid is trying to play football. They send him out. He's like, I'm a buck eighty. 
he comes back for August, and he's like, 280. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, guys, are you not watching? And he's running a 4.9. I said, I said, I said, I, I said you, does anyone understand that? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I said, that means they're doing something. Yeah, that's yeah. not normal. Yeah. So I said, a 380 pound man on the front line. Mm -hmm. Humans aren't meant to be 380 pounds. No. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, you know, unless you're way up in the Nordic some damn way. Well, <laughs> yeah. You know, but other than that, I said, no, I said, and look at the, the big strong men. I said, you think they're not on that? Who in the hell is going to lift a 500-pound boulder? <laughs> <laughs> you got to be on something. Yeah. I said, I try to kick it. Yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't move. I said, I said, you don't get this damn big mm -hmm. just eating food. Yeah, yeah, no. Okay, you just don't. That's not the way we're designed. I don't care where you're from. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and they like, well, you know, they're genetics. I said, ain't that many damn genetics in the world. <laughs> Dude, I said, I said, I've been studying this for almost 40 years. Yeah. I said, there's no way in hell that this works that way. I said, everybody, I said, you're playing with the big boys on that level, just like they did with Ronnie Coleman. Flex Wheeler told him up front, you got to do what the big boys do mm -hmm. if you want to win. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that is, that that is okay. Especially if you want to get like that cut too, while you're getting that big at the same time. Oh yeah, and all that. Like, oh yeah. I mean, yeah. to add that much. I mean, I mean, I don't know if y'all ever saw Ronnie Coleman, mm -hmm. you know, but oh, yeah. in live. I mean, before uh -huh. he got hurt. But I'm like, what freak of nature are you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, <clears throat> it's huge. crazy. Actually. It's like actually it's absurd. absurd. Yeah, every muscle. Oh is yeah, just every, like, you can see everything, and now yeah. and now you have Big Rami. Uh, he's the first Middle Eastern to win since 1984. And I look at pictures of him now, and I'm like, what the hell? Mm -hmm. I mean, come on, you, 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 and believe it or not, they're only about 5'10". Mm -hmm. mm. Wow. And you're carrying. Yeah. They're like all like, yeah, like right in that like height range. Yeah, those, and, yeah. and they're carrying, you know, when you're talking about 280 pounds of lean that's, tissue. Yeah, that's insane. <laughs> and I look at myself, and I'm like, I'm only 225. I, I don't look like that. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Yeah. Uh, you know, but I mean, that's what they do. Yeah. Have you seen uh, Brandon Hendrickson? He's been getting pretty big around here. He's been winning a lot of shows. Like, oh, I know uh, Brandon. Yeah, you do. Yeah, I know him okay. personally. Yeah. 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 I know him also, actually. It's yeah, I, I know guy. him personally. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, he, and he's getting bigger. It, he's getting huge. He's, that's because, yeah. see, what they don't, people, they, they don't tell you, you know, beside the Nandrolones or the, the tests. Sipinates and and the uh, ethanates and stuff like that, they take growth hormone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and that <laughs> I think that's the really game beast. changed a little bit. That's right? a big game changer. Yeah. You know, but it can uh, be pretty good for you too, right? HGH and stuff like that, like good for. Well, if you get the right ones, you got to watch out oh. for the counterfeits. I mean, but yeah, I mean, it, what it does is it leans you out. And builds muscle at the same time. Sounds beautiful. But it makes you. <laughs> yeah, I don't see a problem with that. No. But it makes you eat. <clears throat> oh, really? yeah. It makes you really, really eat. I mean, you have to feed that. It's a beast. That's yeah. wild. That's so weird. Yeah. That's it's, cool. It's, but it lets you sleep real good at night. Really? Oh, does it? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. when you take it. You don't take it in the daytime. Oh. You take it right before you go to bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah really? that's when you make most of your growth horn yep. hormone naturally, oh, I think, right? Okay. Yep. Like in those hours while you're sleeping. Yep. So that makes sense. Do you run that with tests, too? Yes, you do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if there's, like, you know, there's all this science behind it. I haven't really, You always hear about, like, the bodybuilder type of it, like, part of it. But I wonder if, like, just, like, hormone replacement of it. I, if there's, I wonder if there's, like, an actual, like... It's called TRT. Benefit. Yeah, TRT. 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 Yeah, you can get that yeah. prescribed. And yeah. Okay, everything. but the only way you're going to get TRT is one, like if I have a, had, a, had a doctor I trained, okay, he only got four hours of sleep a night. Jeez, I would not survive. And he's working constantly. Yeah. Okay, and he was 50 years old, and I said, you know, <clears throat> got the diet down and everything. I said, how much sleep are you getting? See, for men, we need sleep. Mm -hmm. That's the only way we're going to grow. That's yeah. when the testes are actually pushing everything up. So when they get to that point when you're, like, my test levels are eight to 900. Mm -hmm. Naturally or? Yeah, naturally now. Okay. 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 
the average individual is four to 500. Right. Oh, wow. Okay. That's why I asked if it was natural because that's pretty high for. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, that's because I work out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The more men are meant to lift. Right. Heavy shit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Literally. Not really heavy, but just to be active. Just to be yeah. active. Yeah. And we need the rest. Mm -hmm. Day. Yeah. And, and, and a lot of guys don't get that. They like you know they want to go out and party. They want to just run around and they want to get four hours of sleep. I said, like, and then they go get you know I tell them to get that blood panel and they come back and they say, well my test levels are two hundred. Damn. Wow. Whoa. Two hundred. <laughs> yeah, that's. Wow, dude. You can't even make a baby. Yeah, that's insane. <laughs> that's yeah. wild. Yeah, that is low. And doesn't does alcohol <clears throat> mess with those levels a lot as well? I've heard that. Sometimes know. it can, but it depends on everything else. Your your food, mm -hmm. your rest. Okay, uh, do you work out? Mm -hmm. If you just sit around and drink beer and watch football every Sunday, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know that's what's gonna happen. Yeah, you know, you get that big belly. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. Okay. So and that's what I, I I explain that to a lot of guys. I say we have to really overhaul the way you think about your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Okay, how much water do you drink? How, do you take a multivitamin? Do you take vitamin E, D? Because up here in this region, you need more D. Yep. yep. Okay, because we don't get a lot of sunlight. Mm -hmm. So you need that. Okay. I said. So what are you doing? You know, and you can't come in here one like when I train people. I say you can't come in here just one day a week with me, and that's it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and then you're like, I'm doing good. Yeah, yeah. I said like, no, you need to go back to the gym by yourself. Yeah, take yeah. what you learned. And, yeah, take yeah. what I'm. I'm giving you everything. I'm. You know, I mean, what else? I mean, I'm not going home with you and shopping for you and nothing yeah. like that. But I said, <laughs> this is what you need to do. Mm. Okay, and the women the same way. You know, they talk about my arms are flabby. I said, how much protein are you eating? Yeah, women have like this idea that if they work out too much, they're gonna get look big. Like, they're, yeah. They think they're gonna look like you. They like, they, like, look like yeah, you, like, I've heard that time. one. I've, yeah. I've heard that. They're they're like, like, I don't want to get big. It's like you won't. Yeah. I said you won't. I said. Yeah. I said. I'm a, are you taking steroids? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I really tell them that. Are you taking yeah. steroids? And they say, well, no. I said, then why then do you think fine. you're gonna look like me? Yeah, they yeah. don't have like the levels for it. It's just like not how it works. I right? said, you have estrogen. Mm -hmm. Men have testosterone. You have a little bit of testosterone. Men have a little bit of estrogen. Got to have them both balanced out. I said, but your diet sucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because I first asked him, I said, so what, what do y'all do, do on the weekend? Yeah. Oh, I have some wine. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. The sugar. Oh, that's, that's right true. with the wine. Women love wine. Wine yeah. with the girls. Yeah. 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 And they don't and they think they just drinking one glass. It's like two bottles. I mean, it yeah. is like two bottles. <laughs> a case. Yeah. yeah. I'd be up there like this. I just saw you at Benny's. <laughs> <laughs> you came out with a case, a whole cart full of wines. Okay? Now I'll drink liquor, don't get me wrong, but I'm like that's nothing but sugar. Mm-hmm. Okay. Especially when you're drinking that much of it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because they sit there and they don't realize how much they're yeah. drinking. Mm -hmm. I mean, and, and the glass, an average glass of wine is only supposed to be four ounces. But the way they make glasses now, it's eight to 12. <laughs> Damn. And the women fill it up. Yeah. 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 Okay, and they're just sitting there drinking, and the next thing you know, so I'll pop up with another bottle. Mm hmm. And they're drinking and talking and yakking and there's again. And then I'm like, and then y'all don't even go to the gym. Mm -hmm. And that's where John tells him. He's like, listen, whiskey is a much better alternative. <laughs> <laughs> hey, whiskey and some Coke. No sugar in the Coke. <laughs> yeah, no sugar in the Coke. Yeah. I, I do have a client. I mean, and I told her, she says, that's the secret. I said, yeah, you can drink some Jack Daniels, your bourbon, a whiskey, but you just get the Coke No Zero or mm -hmm. a Diet Coke or a Diet Pepsi, and you just put a splash in there to cut the cut the, 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 the bite off of it a little bit. Yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. And I said, and you sip it. I said, but you women, y'all like to get over here with this wine thing and the champagne, <laughs> and y'all go to town. I, yeah. I said, I watched you. Okay. Yeah, I'm like, oh boy, that's. And then you wake up in the morning. Oh, I got a hang. I said, what do you think the hangover? The came wine from? hangovers are the worst. Yeah, yeah that's the worst. Oh my God. I said, and and then I educated them about cognac, especially black folks. Yeah, mm -hmm. they love Hennessy. Mm -hmm. Okay, and Cavassier. And I said, you do know that's not a liquor. 
What is that? It's not a liquor. What, is, it's a it? wine. Is, is it, it really? really? It's a wine. No way. No shit. Uh-huh. Man, I did not know yeah. that. Yeah. Cognacs are wines. They're huh. not liquors. You see that uh, on it says cognac wine. Yes. Oh, really? I didn't <laughs> know that. Yeah. <laughs> and, and they love some cognac. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. And the worst thing I told a lot of my brothers and stuff, I said, don't drink gin. No, no gin? Oh, hell no. <laughs> gin make you stupid. <laughs> it's like a different drunk too. It is like a different it's drunk. It's a whole yeah. different drunk because you mix it with, you know, what we call Naughty Head and Seven Up. Naughty Head is Seagram's gym because the bottle okay. has got bumps on it. Mm-hmm. And you mix that with Seven Up, Mo Sugar. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mo Sugar. And next thing you know, people are shooting each other, trying to stab <laughs> each other. <laughs> <laughs> Club is out of control. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, uh, uh, no, no. <laughs> do not. No, don't do it. And then everybody's, you know, at the weddings and stuff is drinking the Hennessy. I'm like, they said, you want something? I said, I said, watch this. I put it in, you know, because you put it in a certain glass. And when you swirl it like this, you will see it slowly drip down. Yeah, it sticks to that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The legs. It's pure sugar. Hmm. It's a wine. Yeah. <laughs> I said, I'm a connoisseur of these things. <laughs> okay. I've been to Jack Daniels Distillery. Oh, yeah. I said, oh, yeah, I know exactly how they make it and everything. You know, my next one is Maker's Mark in Kentucky. Oh, I so, that one. <laughs> cool. so, so, but I, I, I tell people, I said, everything is going to be in, you can do these things, but you have to do them in moderation. And it's based on you got to work out, you got to diet. Okay, and you don't diet, diet like you gotta like you know get on these fad things. Just watch what you eat in moderation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I tell everybody first thing I tell them: you got an air air fryer. They say, nope, buy one. Got a rice cooker? Nope, buy one. The air fryer is life changing. It's very <laughs> life changing. I love that thing now. Get that in a can of Pam. Whoosh, put it in there, and this is what you probably don't know: when you cook a steak, cut it in the cubes. Okay. Put it in the air fryer. Put it in the air fryer? <laughs> Eight minutes. Done. No really? way. Perfect. Yes. Just Perfect. Go. Perfect. Huh. Okay. I'm going to have to try Chicken. that. That's pretty life changing. That that's, is good. Cool. Chicken breast? Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah. You put it in a plastic bag with some vinegar, garlic, onions, let it sit there for 30 minutes, take it out, cut it into cubes, air fryer. Hmm. 10 minutes. So that's so much easier. It's crazy it's how so, quick it is. You yeah. got no Very, pans. You have nothing to clean to, up. Yeah, you got the pans. You, you oh, know, you oh no, 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 no. Yeah, see, as a bodybuilder, this is one thing I've been teaching people. I said, I don't want to be in the kitchen all day. Mm. Right. Yeah. Okay? I, I'm not going to meal prep for an entire week. Mm. Okay? It's just going to be for a brief moment of time. I said, air fryer, I can put it in there, hit the button, walk away. Mm-hmm. Take a shower, brush my teeth, and suddenly come back. And then all of a sudden it go boop. I was like, oh, done. Yep. Air fryer, I mean, rice cooker, two cups of rice, four cups of water, put it in there. Make sure you rinse the rice off, though, okay? Yeah. <laughs> you put it in there and then hit that button, walk away. 15 minutes, it'll be done by itself. Yeah, yeah. that's nice. Okay? I love the rice you don't gotta do nothing. Yeah, you don't Perhaps. have to worry about that. Yeah. You know, go get, go to, if you want vegetables, go get the steamables. Mm-hmm. And just put it in the microwave for three minutes. Mm-hmm. Done. And you're there. You <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, you know. I mean, it's you know. I mean, it took me years. So I mean, because back in my day, I mean, my wife had to boil twenty four eggs oh so I can get all of the whites. <laughs> she must and, I had, and yeah, she would do it right in the morning while she's getting ready. I'm still asleep. I get up. It's cooling off. I have to. Crack them all open, get a knife, and then spin around. Now, I said, you got GFS and Costco. Mm -hmm. Get you a carton of egg whites. Hell. Yeah. 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 You know, I mean, we don't have to worry about that no more. And then it comes to find out that you weren't supposed to throw away the yolks at all. Yeah, yeah. That, that was a yeah. big thing. Yeah, for that a was like a big thing. For a minute, they were like, like yeah. it's worse than smoking cigarettes, like egg or egg yolks. Yeah, or, yeah. yeah, I'm like, you know, and when I was going to school and I learned that, and I said, Really? They say, oh, yeah. just doesn't sound like it makes sense. It, yeah. yeah. It's hard to believe that. Yeah. They, yeah. they, they made you throw away all those egg yolks. Yeah. And I said, well, that's the other half of the protein. Right. And there's, and all, I, there's a lot of good stuff in there. A lot there. of vitamins in yeah. there, yeah. too. All the vitamins, like everything that you kind of yeah. really want in there. But it's the cholesterol everybody was concerned about because, yeah. the you know, the medicinal system made you think that, you know, 
your cholesterol is going to go up. I said, it's a different type of cholesterol. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's, there's healthy. There's, yeah, I yeah. said it's a healthy mm -hmm. fat and cholesterol content in yeah. the yolk. I said it had nothing to do with your blood cholesterol. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we've been eating that for so long. Eggs, so yeah. long. I, I've been eating six eggs to twelve eggs a day for since I was a baby. Yeah. Yeah. Our ancestors, <laughs> six to our twelve ancestors a day. Like yeah, I'm long. like, I said, that's what that's what we ate. I it's, mean, it's what the normal. hell is? Yeah. What, yeah, what was going on with that? You know, mm -hmm. and I couldn't understand that. I'm like, why can't we eat that? Yeah. I even asked my coach that. And he just couldn't answer the question. That's oh, right. it. Yeah. That was a big thing for a while. It was. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no, yeah, like for a, for a long, for a long while, that was a big <laughs> thing. And just like eating, taking fats away from your food, mm -hmm. and then they replace it with uh, high-fat sugar. Yeah. They yeah. did all of that. That was a conspiracy theory. Made yeah. us all obese. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, they said, oh, no, you can't eat that. No, 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 you got too much fat in it. You know, I'm like... Well, no, avocados and olive oil, those are the healthy the fats. stuff for yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, nuts, you know. I mean, you just don't eat a bunch of them, but yeah. I mean. Everything in moderation. Everything is in moderation. Yeah. It was even like uh, the vegan stuff, right? Like, they're all about, like, you know, meat's so bad, but then they're eating just chips yeah, all Yeah, they day just long. eat chips all day. And it's like, whatever, how yeah. is that, like, any amount healthier? They eat, like, 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 chips steak. and avocados. <laughs> yeah, That's chips like and avocados. That's their entire diet, and it's like, you're going to die. You're just eating <laughs> chips out of a bag all day <laughs> long. food. Yeah, it's like, like Yeah, what? I've asked that same question. I said, wait a minute. So, you want to go vegan, and yet, even the vegan foods, I said, have you looked at the ingredients on the back of the package? The sodium content is so high. I said, now you're going to get high blood pressure. It's true. <laughs> yeah, 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 literally. Being a vegan takes a lot of discipline to do it right. Because you can do it right. It would just takes, like, you got to be, you know, really smart about it and eat all the right stuff. And Oh, you need money. It's, yeah, it's a mm. lot of work. Yeah, it's That's, a lot of work. Yeah. My daughter keeps trying that. She goes from vegan to flexitarian to mm. vegan to flexitarian. I'm mm. like, I said, I eat meat. <laughs> yeah. just, just I could never give it up. I honestly I'm could like, never no. give it up. I couldn't give no. up steak. That'd never. Be, that's my, no. Yeah. It's, no. There's it's, no way I could not get a steak right? at like a restaurant or something. Like, yeah. I couldn't. I go with Muslims. I train them. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't eat pork. And I'm like, okay. I tried that before. I got to have my ribs. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. Kansas City ribs, Texas ribs. Mm -hmm. Brother got to have some ribs. <laughs> <laughs> Can't give it up. <laughs> I'm like, you know, I'll try. Okay? And then when they do Ramadan, I'm like, 30 days and I can't eat for 12 hours. I said, that's an intermittent fasting yeah. Yeah. system. Yeah. I said, I'll try that once too. It's not going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> okay? Yeah. It only happens once. That's it. I, mm -hmm. I give it a shot. And I tell people, I said, if you really want to do that, Fine. And the, and the keto thing? Oh, no. Oh, God, yeah. No. Oh, no. I said, so, people say, well, Joe, what do you think about the keto diet? Do you like cakes, cookies, hmm. you know, those type of things? They say, yeah, <laughs> it ain't for you. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't for you. <laughs> <laughs> you like anything that tastes good? <laughs> anything that tastes good. I said, you know, I said, I eat pancakes. Yeah. yeah. I make my pancakes. Yeah. A lot of my protein pancakes, but mm -hmm. that's not going to work for you yeah okay just want to let you know you're going to go to a wedding they're going to have that cake sitting there you just gotta they got my keto yeah. <laughs> 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 I, said, I said tell me how that's going to work yeah. okay i i'm just asking mm -hmm. you're gonna be rude not eat the cake <laughs> it's a hard it's a one of those it goes like diet and lifestyle like mm -hmm. it, yeah. you, it's a diet yeah. if you want to do it for 30 days you may be able to hold it off but you're never going to live like that for the rest of your life yeah you want something sustainable just have no you want a diet that you can actually do forever yeah especially for the well, average you know. person who's and just that, trying and that's to what i yeah. teach i teach lifestyle i said this is a lifestyle change i'm not i say i'm not telling you what you can and cannot eat i'm gonna give you a regimen of the things that you should eat mm -hmm. but it's all going to be like he said moderation right okay i said you know eat anything you want to eat i said but you got to remember something these diets don't work right i said the yeah. only people who should be on a diet is when i compete Right, yeah, mm -hmm. if you're not competing, yeah. you're yeah, not if you're doing not <laughs> anything, what are you doing? Like, why? Yeah. Like, like yeah. you said, work out 45 minutes, whatever, eat pretty good, yeah. and then eventually you'll look you're good. Look you'll good, look yeah. okay. You'll look yeah. you know, better than average, you know, 
or you can actually well, look whatever amazing. average is yeah. now. Yeah, right. I said, I said, I look the way people say, well, how do you, you know, even my boys, you know, when they came back in town, they said, how the hell do your veins stick out like that? And mm-hmm. I said, it's the way I eat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I said, and I train all of the time. Remember, I do this 20 times a week. Mm-hmm. I said, so, you know, I said, and I drink tons of water. What are you guys doing? <laughs> I said, do you stretch? Do you, you know, do recovery? Do you have a massage gun at home? You know, I tell everybody, definitely get a massage gun. Does it make a big difference? Do you use that often? Oh, yeah. yeah, It makes a big difference. Interesting. Oh. I've never done one of those. From like a sore perspective or just kind of overall? Just break up the muscles so they can grow. Just break up the muscles. You got to break. Unless you can go to the massage therapist once a week, which I don't think most of us can do. I mean, that gets very expensive. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And it takes a lot of time. Yeah. And and then I got to drive there. I got to lay on a table. Yeah, Dom's, at, Dom's trips are like more expensive than the average <laughs> at the massage therapist. <laughs> Dom, Dom, for some reason, his, his massages tuggies. are like three times the amount. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, you know, I say, you know, I, I have a massage, you know. But, but in my studio, I mean, the, the best thing I got is I said I have a on-site chiropractor. So, so oh, nice. and Damn. we fixed my knees and my shoulders. And, you know, so every now and then I go back and get readjusted. And now he got this new contraption that looked like something from the medieval times. <laughs> you know, I, I walked in his office and I said, what the hell is that? He said, oh, John, you just gotta, I'm, you gotta try this. I said, Dude, look like you just want to string me up or something. Yeah, right. Don't touch me. Don't put me in that. Like, I don't trust you. you know, I'm, like, I'm like, you know, the table is fine, but, you know, that is, what is that? Yeah. You know? It me, stretches man. you and it does all kind of weird things to you. But, I mean, I mean, he's good, though. I mean, he's yeah. real good. But I tell people, I say, what you need to do is just take care of yourself and do everything as a lifestyle in moderation. Yeah. That's all it is. You know, even when I have them training in my class and they, they get a tense and I tell them, I said, let me tell you something, ladies. Yes, I'm going to push you. If you need to take a knee, take a knee. Mm-hmm. Okay, sip water when you need it. Sip it, don't gulp it. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll throw it up. Yeah. Right. Okay, so we, we don't want that, especially some of my classes get really hard. And I said, just do everything in moderation. Be cool about it. You know, even the, the uh, Mortal Kombat guys, I tell them the same thing. I mean... Like, one, two, three of them got messed up hips and knees. No way. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's cute. And, and uh, I'm, one, I'm the second oldest in the group, and I'm like, mm-hmm. how did you do that? <laughs> You know, but that's because, you know, I mean, they're sparring and they were kicking for all of those years, but no one was doing recovery work or nothing like that. Yeah, that sparring is hard on your joints. Yeah. How did very- you, when when that, I kind of want to go through that. How did like the studio, like, how did that come about? Like, how did you get approached with that? And like, what was the story behind, like, Mortal game Kombat, cast? Is that? Yeah. Mortal Kombat? Yeah. Mortal Kombat was fun. Okay, the first game was uh, Richard Vizio, Danny Pacina, Carlos, who played Raiden. Mm-hmm. Um... And then uh, this other girl who played Sonya Blade, not Carrie. So the way it started was John Tobias was the a creator, okay? And uh, they worked for Midway. Ed Boone was his, uh, his boss. And John just wanted to create a game, a fighting game, to rival Street Fighter, mm-hmm. okay? So all of those guys are friends for, I mean, when they were kids, Okay, Danny was actually their Sifu, okay, which is a martial arts teacher. Okay, so, you know, he taught them all kind of stuff. And then he said, okay, well, what kind of game you want to make? A fighting game. And he said, okay. And so they get his father's camera. Remember back in, I don't know if y'all remember, if you're old enough, but, you know, they had a little handheld camera. Yeah. The eight millimeter thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what they were using. Damn. That's wild. Okay. And they only had one cartridge of tape. So they kept erasing everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, okay, so it's a lot of footage that was lost. Yeah. And then, you know, and then, so they say, you know, John Tobias would come in and say, you know, today's time they use what we call mocaps, which is motion capture, the suits with the dots. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they uh, had green screens. We had a, 
janitor's closet. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. That's so Paint cool, it though. green. That is so cool. <laughs> <That'd be laughs> Paint cool it story. green. Okay, paint it green. And everybody say, what? I said, yeah, it was like a little light bulb is hanging down in the center. <laughs> And that was our light. We didn't have this, none of that. <laughs> okay. that's, that's wild. Okay. You know, and then, <laughs> and, <laughs> and then we were, you know, and then when they did the first game, he brought it in because we all worked at Lakeshore Athletic Club. I was one of the trainers. They were trainers, you know, and we were doing box jumps. Well, they were doing what I call little box jumps, you know. I can leap you know, with a 45 to 50 foot vertical. Wow. Damn. Okay, so, you know, and I'm like, I ain't in the box jump. Y'all just jumping on the bench. <laughs> Watch this. Whoop. And they were like, oh, wow. Didn't know you can do that. I said, I've been training y'all for, for months. Come on. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of things I can do. I just don't say what I can do. Mm -hmm. And then, so, when they created the game, they brought it into Lakeshore Athletic Club because that's where everybody's commonality was. And, you know, and then, you know, Danny came up to me and says, John, you got you to gotta try this. I'm a Miss Pac-Man person, okay? Mm -hmm. That was it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> put it on turbo speed I'm still good I, I knew the whole algorithm okay <laughs> you put this thing in there all these buttons and the joysticks I'm like what the but then I'm like oh that's Danny oh okay cool oh yeah I said, I said you know the kid's gonna love this and then he said so what do you think I said yeah there's a problem he says what Ain't no brothers in the game. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is this? Uh, how does this happen? I said, black folks play the game too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then two weeks later, they came back with another sketch that I got at home. The original sketches from John Tobias of Jax. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. And then, you know, and I said, I ain't that damn ripped, but... <laughs> I mean, that's cool. Who's that? He's at you if you want to do it. I'm like, really? Do I get paid? Yeah. Okay, I'm in. Yeah, I'm in. I'll do it. <laughs> hey, I didn't, I, I didn't even ask how much. I'm in. Okay, you know. He said, well, go over here to California and Roscoe on this day. You know, I'll see you there. You know, and, and that's the way it was. And, and people think we had storyboards. I said, no, that's what they do now. Mm -hmm. Back then, it was it was like... You know, you have that dartboard over there, and you just throw <laughs> one, and let's see what works. That's yeah. awesome. Okay. And then the moves. Now, you guys see us do this in the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was actually. Oh, slow? So slow. Really? So you we, capture we, it probably clearly, right? Uh, because they, they're they using, I mean, back then, we only had 486 and 586 computers. Yeah. yeah. You know, and then, they, you know, with that camera, I mean. You you can only catch four frames a second. <laughs> yeah. Four wow. frames okay. a second. Oh my gosh. Okay. So and you had to slow everything down. You know, even they wanted me to do a backflip slow. All of those moves we did were actually us doing. Seriously? That's, That's so cool. nuts. Yeah, that was all us. That How was all us. How do you do a slow backflip? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I told him. I said. That's not gonna happen. That's, yeah. yeah, that's like impossible. It's impossible. I said, I said, you I flip said, at the speed, you gotta <laughs> flip so you don't die. Yeah, flip, I, like, said, I said, I said, I said, I can't freeze in the middle of the air. <laughs> yeah. I'm not that good. Yeah. I said, you know, I said, I, I, I'm a gymnast, but dude, and I got military boots on, the heavy utility belt. Yeah. Oh man, I was like, I gotta flip slow. That's not gonna work. You know, so they were able to figure a way to get it right, but I mean. It was like two or three hundred flips. Oh my! Oh yeah, I, I was dizzy oh, wow. at the end of the day. I was like, God, I got a headache. Did I drink too much or something? What the <laughs> hell was this? I said, you know, the kicks, all of the high kicks. You know, that's why when people look at me, they like, but you're a bodybuilder. I'm like, well, yeah, but I was a martial artist first. I was a gymnast second. Yeah. Okay. I said bodybuilding came much later yeah. in life. This is. I said to me, this was just simple. I said, you know. And then the first suit they gave me was the one like Raiden wears. Nah. Yeah, it was yellow. It did just didn't quite work. Out <laughs> yeah, right. it didn't, it didn't work. quite work. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because the the seamstress made it. You know, she thought she sized me up, and it was tight right down here on the ankles. So when you moved, the crotch kind of, you know, yeah. and it wasn't stretchy material. Mm. So uh, just, you can't get your legs up. Yeah. yeah, and then, you know, and I told her, I said, this is not going to work. 
And then she was so adamant. She was like, oh, no, I made this. This is going to work. I said, no, it's not. <laughs> Trust me. I, if I do a high kick, it's going to rip. <laughs> and then she kept, you know, trying to yell. And then Danny said, okay, hold on. John, just show her. So I said, all right, where's, the, give me something to aim at. Okay. And then he put something up there and I jumped up, threw my leg up, rip. Oh. No. <laughs> just like you expected. Just like, I, just, I, just, change. I just knew it was going to happen. Oh, yeah. That's, and I'm the one who told him about the tights. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, give me lycra tights or something like that. You know, I said, because I said, none of this is going to work for mm -hmm. me. Not Jack's. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's, I mean, I don't fight the military. When I was in the military, I didn't wear this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. yeah. <laughs> and then, then two days later, she came back. We have black tights with the purple stripes on them. I'm like, now we're talking. Yeah, I feel good. Now, now I can do a kick. Now, okay, okay, watch. Woo! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, but that's how that all started. And then we got into Mortal Kombat uh, 3, I mean 2. And when they put, the, first we had the bracelets. And I was like, okay, you know. And then when I saw how they rendered the game, and I'm like, you know, they gave me some, you know, the ground pound, which I came up with, the boomerang. But I said, everybody else got cool moves. I want more cool moves. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, Luke Kang is like, Danny's just doing splits and hitting people up. And I'm like, really? Barack had swords and shit coming out of his hands. And I'm like, <laughs> like, what do I got? <laughs> They say, well, John, you got, I said, no, 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 no. When they came up with three, that's when the metal arms came up. Mm. Oh, okay, that's mm. cool. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Did you expect it to get as big as it got? No one did. <laughs> like that, it's insane how much of an impact it had. The first game, when they put it in a, a bar, because it was supposed to be for Claude uh, Van Damme. Oh, yeah? Yeah. He was supposed to be the, the original actor, which uh, pissed Danny off, okay? Yeah. Uh, and then... I know he's kicking himself in his ass right now mm -hmm. because it's 30 years and still making revenue. Yeah. Yes, okay. So, that's so wild. <laughs> that is <Yeah>. nuts. <laughs> okay. yeah. And so he, he scrapped it. And so Danny, and they said, okay, we're just going to, we're going to build 30 cabinets for y'all. That was it. So they put him in certain spots in the city. And all of a sudden the bar owners were calling him saying, what's wrong with y'all machine? It, it ain't working. So John Tobias and Ed Boone went down to one of the bars and turned the key, opened it up. Quarters fell everywhere. No wow. way. Oh, wow. And, the, and at that particular point in time, they knew it was, this is big. That's yeah. cool. This is big. I mean, shit just fell out. Yeah, you, you made too much money off it. That's crazy. <laughs> you know, so, and then they started making, and then, and then the next time when we did Mortal Kombat uh, 2, I mean, Mortal Kombat 3, the room was no longer a mop closet. Now we had a professional studio. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> cool. Now you leveled up. That's cool. <laughs> that's so I was sweet. like, I was like, we got a professional studio now. I'm like, like, I can work with this. this yeah, I'm yeah. like, okay, this is good. <laughs> okay, and, you know, and then from there, that's just, you know, I mean, and it never really had a storyline. So with this new movie, they're making a storyline. Mm -hmm. Okay, because it... It was just a fighting game, right? Yeah, yeah, which is kind of cool. It was just, yeah. it just it is, it was what it was. And yeah, that you was know, it. And, and it's the only game that made every other game get movie rated. Yeah, because <laughs> of all of the blood. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Ed cool. Boone and them were they brought him up to uh, Congress, had him on the hill. Oh no yeah, no you, you probably didn't see that. Oh, no, it was the funniest shit in the world. It was because <laughs> I was watching it. I'm like. He, they had to testify about the violence of oh, the game. Yeah. No the way. violence, of the, the violence of the video games, yeah. Wow. And I'm like this. No, don't do it, Ed. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't do it. And, it, and it, Ed has a way of like, he'd turn his head and give you a smirk. <laughs> and it's like, and you've seen him in the video game. If you played it, he goes, whoopsie. <laughs> okay. That, that's not his voice, but it's him. And I said, don't do it. Don't do it. Those congressmen were asking him the stupidest questions. They don't get it. They did not get it. They did not get it. They, they, did, not get it. they did not get it. I was like, no, don't do it. Because it. it looked like he turned his head. I'm like, no. <laughs> and he's like, well, yes, it's a violent game. 
you know, because it was the only game. That's why Nintendo had the one without blood. Sega Genesis had the one with blood. Oh. And then they started putting the MVTV ratings on it. <laughs> yeah. That's why all of the games have those ratings now because of Mortal Kombat. Wow. That's so cool. <laughs> That's cool. You guys like set a press. You guys there. literally yeah, changed the game. I said, I said, we didn't change the whole game now. Yeah, okay. that is cool. Okay, we changed the whole. I mean, and then, you know, when everybody asked me about, you know, you guys did all those flips and all of those kicks, I said, we still had pagers. Okay, do you understand that? I said, there was no Adobe. There was no Photoshop. Mm hmm <laughs> so yeah. when they were when you guys were in there doing the flips and stuff, would you guys just be on like a green screen type of thing, or no? Was, were they just capturing it, was, it and putting it in there? It was, a, <laughs> it was a janitor closet painted green. Okay, <laughs> and that was it. Okay, and we had a mat. <laughs> That's so cool, though. <laughs> and then we <laughs> had to keep doing it over oh my and God. over <laughs> and over. That's crazy. And they would just overlay you into the game. Yeah, That's crazy. And, and then they, then you know Ed Boone and him would take it back to the other part of the studio, and then they would. Work, I mean, they worked on these things all night long. I mean, and and putting them together, the each frame, the capturing. It's crazy. You know, I mean, long before all of this technology we got. It's probably now. crazy for you to see now, like. Yeah, where it's crazy calm. video games are now. Oh, well, well, when I see them now, especially the, the latest one, I'm like, well. Like a Red Dead Redemption. I, maybe I need to get me a PS4. Yeah. yeah. yeah like, I, it looks like so lifelike. Like, yeah. Like, I mean, and, and it has a, and, and, and then they're talking and they have like a storyline, you know? Yeah. I mean, so I'm like, oh, yeah, because we didn't have that. It was just like, fight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was it. And it's yeah. like, <laughs> then you start fighting, you know, and that was it. Now it's like they're talking to each other, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, the new fighting games are crazy. They're yeah. Crazy. Now you can just get Even like the new like UFC games, like you can't tell if it's a video game or actually a fight on. Like I know. if you walk by someone like playing it, like looks like it's, it's crazy. It looks like it's a real fight. Like it's an injustice or a Mortal Kombat. Oh my God. It's crazy. It's like the levels, like. That like video, like how, how long ago was that? When thirty you did, that years. Thirty years ago. It's thirty years. It doesn't seem like that long ago, though. Shit, right? <laughs> Makes me seem old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, man, that was thirty. But yeah, years. like relatively, like relatively speaking, it isn't that long of a time. Not like for all these advancements that have come in that space. Even if you look at like, games from like five years ago, oh my yeah, god, you'll be like, you're like, man, different. this shit was ass yeah. you know, compared to now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because when you look at them now, I mean, the graphics, you know, especially in the latest Mortal Kombat, I'm like, mm -hmm. what the hell is mm -hmm. this? Now y'all gonna make me try to buy this, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, because I don't really play video games. Yeah. Right. But when I saw it, I was like, you know, because we had to preview it at one of the shows right before COVID, and I was like, oh my God. I said, look at this here. Mm hmm you know, and uh, you know, but I mean, I look at it like this. I told my wife and him, if I ever die, just cremate me. It's very simple. Throw my ashes in the backyard somewhere. I don't care, and just go get you uh, a pop-up game yeah. of Mortal Kombat. <laughs> just throw an arcade machine. That's all you do. Yeah, I'm here forever. <laughs> That's cool. You I miss said, me? I'm not going nowhere. Yeah, yeah. That is awesome. <laughs> I told. I said. I said I'm immortalized. You do, you, are. do you have like one of like the first uh, like machines or? I games? got the I got the first Sega Genesis. Okay, that's awesome. That's cool. Yeah, I got the cartridge, everything. You know, still got dust on it. I didn't get the Nintendo because when they took the blood out, I'm like, yeah, that was Come yeah. on. Yeah. I mean, and, and the one thing that people don't know is when uh, Rich Davizio when he played uh, Kano. And if you remember, he stuck his hand and pulled out somebody's mm -hmm. heart and then just put it up. That wasn't what he wanted to do. Hmm. He wanted to go, uh, uh, heart. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to chew the heart. <laughs> and, and they said, no way. <laughs> no, no, I don't think we can do that. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, we're already crossing the line, apparently. Yeah. You know, and then, and then the gotcha uh, come over here move from uh, um, Scorpion, Scorpion. Is from Rich Divizio. Mm. Because, like I said, we were in just a studio just trying to figure out what moves to do. And, you know, and he told, you know, Danny, he says, why don't you, you know, you got that little spear thing in your bag, throw it out. And then he said, okay, so he threw it out. And then he, Rich said, get over here. And that became part of the video. Yeah, game. iconic. Oh, that's <laughs> That's insane. So it would just be you guys just bouncing ideas off each other. Like, all day. 
all day. That's crazy. You guys just went in there basically just like throwing shit throwing at the wall. At, at the wall. Yeah. It's like, okay. Well, Maybe I could do this. Maybe yeah, I could do yeah, that. You know, I mean, when we got to the, you know, the, you know, when I smashed somebody's head, and they asked me, <laughs> like, you know, you know, so what do you think? I said, well, hell, if you're going to make me the big guy here, you know, let me crush their skull. <laughs> Next thing I know, it's in the game. I'm like, oh. And then the gotcha move, you know. <laughs> you know? You know? I mean, it, I, I saw what we were doing. That's so cool. And yeah. it all just came together yeah, and then became a it, it just global sensation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, we did a few tours, you know, here and there. They went to England. I was over here, you know, um, we, and, and we're still doing yeah. shows. Yeah, that's, that's wild that that's still happening. Yeah. You yeah. Know, like oh, I mean, they're big. Yeah. Where they have, do they have you guys, like, bring you guys, like, Comic-Con into, like, your E3s type of thing? Uh, they just finished C2E3. Uh-huh. Or C2E2. Uh, let's see. I think, see, September, I will, we will be in Knoxville, some of us. Then we're going next, the month after that, to Wichita, Kansas. Then uh, we're working on another deal for the Sacramento Con. Wow. You know, so that's crazy. Wow. So, all around. so yeah, so you know, I tell people, I said, "Oh no," yeah, I, I, <laughs> that's why I said, when you guys want to to do this, I said, "When?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's yeah, very literally. important. Yeah. <laughs> okay? yeah, you know, plus my regular businesses that I run. Yeah. Right, you're a busy guy. You got yeah, so going I tell on. people, I said, you know, you know. And that's why my wife says she doesn't mess with me when I'm asleep. I said, that's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Besides you being a full-time video game guy, you also have real businesses on yeah, the side. Yeah, I, I got real businesses <laughs> I run. I mean, I mean, me and my partner got Fit Body Boot Camp in uh, Naperville. You know, I got BH, uh, uh, Beyond Human Fitness in Bolingbrook. Uh, and I train all over the damn place. I, you and know, an IT company as well, right? Yeah, first computer experts. So, and I'm working on somebody's computer right now. This sitting yeah. on my on my desk, you mm-hmm. know. So I tell people, I said, no, I'm, you know, I said, and if I don't answer my phone, that means I, either I'm training, or sleep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. There's only two modes. There's only two modes, you know. I mean, you know, it, it may even be in the shower, hanging on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I said, no, I'm. You know, I'm all over the place, you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't mind it. Yeah, you're you know? doing what you want. Yeah, this want, is what, what I like to do. do. And uh, and I always tell younger guys, I say, do what you like to do. Mm-hmm. If it's prosperous for you and you enjoy doing it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, I mean, I used to work for corporate. I had to quit that in 2016 because I saw where it was going. Mm-hmm. It was going nowhere. You know, no advancement, no nothing. You know, they just wanted a body there. I've automated everything. So I'm like, I don't even need to be here. Yeah. <laughs> Why am I here? Yeah. You you're know? just a body. At that point, you're like, all right. That's, yeah. that's what it was. That's yeah. what my director he says. Well, they just want to see a body. Mm-hmm. What kind of <laughs> shit is that? Yeah, why? <laughs> that's crazy. I said, I said, it's automated. I mm-hmm. said, if, if, if something goes wrong, the system will call me. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I said, and this is not even headquarters. Headquarters is in Georgia. So I said, well, we're in Aurora. So I said, so if something goes wrong, I said, it probably went wrong down there somewhere. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I said, because the system runs just fine. You know, but I don't know. They just want to see a body. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I come out. in here at 8 o'clock every morning. And I am finished, once I check out the system, in 10 minutes. Mm. <laughs> and I sit here for... How many more hours? Yeah. That is not <laughs> the route to go. <laughs> you yeah. know. Long days. Oh, very long. And and then they start getting political, you know, because, I mean, I would have three computers up. I'd be on Facebook on one, mm-hmm. Instagram yeah. on another. Yeah. And then somebody would come by, and then they'd call my boss and say, he's surfing the net. <laughs> <laughs> well, what else am I supposed to do? Yeah. There's, there's nothing else to do. Yeah. You know, I said, I mean, I, I close tickets throughout the country. I travel. I, I said, every, everything is automated. We don't have to do shit. Mm-hmm. So what else you want me to do? But this is how corporate America, that's why everything is switching now, where people want to stay at home and work. Mm-hmm. Why do you need to be in office mm-hmm. if you can do it straight from your home? Yeah. Right. A lot of companies like it too. It's just they look at it as a, they look at it as a chance to eliminate office space and renting and mm-hmm. mortgages. Yeah, and especially if you're in a blue state like New York or mm-hmm. Illinois, so it's like shit. We can close down this entire office and <laughs> save money there, and you know everybody. You know, I mean, you can stay at home and work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
mm-hmm. you know, still pay them the same money. I mean, if you want to. I mean, plus it's the freedom. They, they get to be with their kids if they got kids and stuff like that. Drop little Johnny off to school, come mm-hmm. back home, you know. It's my but, sister-in-law does. She's They just had a kid, and she works at home. Yeah. It's just, she brings good money, too. Like, And it's just like she has to go in one day a week. Like, fuck, I'm jealous of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, me, I travel a lot, you know, but I like – traveling because one i get to free up my mind as i'm driving even through traffic you know where i'm going who i'm about to see do i have to give a seminar do i have to give a lecture you know what else is going on you know and then get back home at night you know because it's a giant circle the way i do everything yeah so i leave my house go all the way out and come right back home Mm. okay and i'm 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 you know and then when Danny and him went to Mortal Kombat, when we decided to have a party, you know, they, everybody, look, we're on Messenger. All right, where is it at? What day? Yeah. You know, what time? You know, and we go down and hang out and, you know, except for Danny can't really drink. No. <laughs> no. Him in Manhattan's for some reason. Just can't handle it? Two of them, boy, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I had to take him back to the room many a night. <laughs> really? That's awesome. Everyone's got some people like that. Everyone's got yeah. one. Everyone's got some, yeah. someone like that. I mean, because we, we start off when we first get there, we at the bar, then we all hook up, go eat, have more Manhattans. Mm-hmm. Then we go back to the you know the club for the after party or something, more Manhattans. Next thing I know, I'm like, Okay, Danny, it's now time. <laughs> it's now time. <laughs> so let's get You're the getting fuck out of out here. here. <laughs> <laughs> those, so, you know. those long days will get you out. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, because yeah. we're on the floor for uh, 10 to 12 hours. Oh, wow. wow. And it's wow. just constant. That's people, exhausting, right? too. It's yeah, like well, training. yeah, because, I mean, you're talking to all of these people, you're signing autographs, you're taking pictures. Yeah. It goes on, you know, all day. That's, I mean, get paid good money, but, I yeah. mean, it's right. just like. You're probably drained at the end of the day, like. Yeah, that's how we yeah, even felt. And, and then yeah. we, and then we have to go to an after party. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, and it's that's... like, and then you know, and everybody figures out that I drink JD and Coke, <laughs> so it's a table sitting there with like five or six glasses of JD. I'm like, well, dude, I'm not an alcoholic. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Any one of those, <laughs> yeah. maybe three, <laughs> maybe no, three. you know, and and then you know, sometimes you get these little, you know, then they have a couple pop ups there, and now the ones that we're going to. They actually, uh, I think five years ago, started coming up with a, a way to make the games uh, arcade with the bar. <clears throat> oh. oh, cool. Yeah. So That's we go awesome. to some of them, like in Nashville, California, Connecticut. And so we walk in there. We're in one room like this, signing autographs. Mm-hmm. But then there's another room. There's a full bar with arcade games. That's sweet. That's cool. And, and the grill. So they figured out how to do that now and, mm-hmm. and make more money, <laughs> you know. And then when you go out there, it's like, where did this come from? <laughs> That's what I tell people. I say, look at my. I said, all you do is look at my Facebook page, people. It's USC, mm-hmm. all of the places <laughs> we've been. Yeah, because yeah. 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 I'm like, okay. Because when we went to Nashville, I thought it was just we just in this room, mm-hmm. you know. Because the yeah. night before, when I when I drove in, I didn't. You know, I just stayed in the room, ate ate something, and like, like I've been driving for ten hours. I'm going to sleep, okay. <laughs> yeah. And then the next day, you know, all of a sudden, you know, like, well, let me go. Oh, oh, didn't know this was here. <laughs> <laughs> Way bigger scale. <laughs> oh, it was a much bigger scale. You know, that's cool. You know, but but I mean, it's fun overall. I tell people, yeah. I said, I said, oh, it's fun. Don't don't. I'm, I don't complain about it. I said, you know, it's. You know, but now I'm we're getting kind of skeptical because of all of these flight cancellations. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. 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 that's been weird with all that. Yeah. Well, Overbooking. Right when is the next now. time you're supposed to be going to another state? Uh, I leave uh, next Friday. Oh, all, all right. right. Going, yeah. to visit, going to visit my uh, aunt. So um, you know, so because she's getting older, so you know, my mother's going. She's arranged all the flights and everything. She works for Southwest, mm. so we're flying into Memphis, driving up to Jackson, Tennessee, then. Back down with my sister and everybody, so and then after that, September we'll be in I think Wichita, and then after that we're going to be in uh, I forget where we're going to be after that one. It's another state, but we're going to be all over. Yeah, that's all. Awesome. Yeah. Bouncing around. The, win- yeah. the winter's going to be all over. 
and I told my son, I said, if you want to plan something to go with the grandkids in Delaware, August is the only month I have available. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps your life interesting. What What are you most excited about right now between all your businesses, including like the Mortal Kombat stuff? Like what's what excites you the most throughout your day? Is it the gym, just training? No, just to see my, my clients uh, progress. Mm. You know, that's you know the most exciting thing. When I see them progress, that means I know I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. Mm. Okay. Okay, so... You know, and when they come back to me and email me and say, you know, they're losing weight, you know, they're trimming down, the women are like, like, oh, my God. You know, I'm like, okay, everybody's doing fine. You know, our Fit Body Boot Camp, you know, you know, we get members, some of them drop off, but then it's, we get more of them coming back in. So, I mean, like, you know, as long as the businesses are thriving and, uh, you know, I keep making money, so, I mean, yeah, you know. Doesn't bother me. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know I would say. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, that's what I tell everybody. Say. Yeah, doesn't bother me. I mean, you know, long as you know you you, you survive, mm-hmm. I'm healthy. Mm-hmm. You know, and I hear a lot of people who keep getting COVID, and I keep laughing at them. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, do I laugh at them. Yeah, you know, especially the ones who say, "John, you got to get the booster." And why would I want to do that? Right. <laughs> yeah. I already got double vax, and that's because I have to travel. Mm-hmm. I said, and I don't want to be the black man at the airport fighting with TSA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just don't want to be that guy, you know. Where's your vax card? And you know, <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. don't want to be that guy, yeah. you know. Uh, so, you know, and then when I listen to those people say that, and I said, Dr. Fauci. You got two vaxes, two boosters, and you still got COVID. Yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, really? Yeah. I mean, it is like, it's like, uh, if it's not going to prevent it, then, what's the point? Didn't Joe Rogan get so much shit because he was like, what about just like being a healthy person? Yeah. 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 He got in so much trouble for that. But it's yeah. true. What about just being healthy? Yeah. Work out. And, He's and, like, work out, have a healthy diet. Yeah. yeah. That, that, that's what I tell everybody. Yeah. I said, I said, the secret is very simple, people. Rest, get some cardio, get some resistance, eat right. Mm. No one talks about that though. Yeah. I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, this is this. We've been doing this in bodybuilding for over fifty years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I said, I said, take some zinc, get some extra vitamin D up here, some C. Water, you're golden. Yep. Yeah. Start. I didn't, there. I didn't catch it once. <laughs> you know. You didn't get it once. No. Well, once. I got it. I mean, it was it was okay. I mean, I it, it, to me, it was nothing. I mean, it was like seven days, and then. I told everybody in my studio, I mean, not the one in Naperville, but Export, I told them, I said, you guys are coming in my class with a mask on. Mm-hmm. Literally. Why? Yeah. <laughs> You're going to hyperventilate in there. <laughs> oh, I, I told them, I said, I'm going to make you regret that. Yeah. yeah. Literally, yeah. now you're going to get out of here. Oh, yeah. yeah I, I go, I go, when I see you with a mask on, I go hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I said, oh, we're going to be doing burpees, sprawls. <laughs> we're going to do all kind of stuff. And you know, they like, I said, remember in October 19th, I mean 2019, you saw me on the floor a lot, breathing hard. Yeah, I had COVID. Mm -hmm. My doctor just didn't know what the hell it was because it didn't have an official name. Right. I said, all of you, we've been doing this for what, four, five years? You've been exposed. Mm -hmm. (laughs) At some point. At some point. I I said, you came in this room, this studio. With a fan blowing, doors closed. It's Fauci's worst nightmare. Yeah, yeah. I, said, yeah. <laughs> I said, I said, I exposed you. Yeah, literally. Okay, I said, so don't give me this thing. Uh, I said, I said, the best place you can be is in the gym. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hundred percent for yeah. sure. It's like good for your immune system. It's yeah. good for everything about you. Yeah. yeah, I said, I said, this is the best place you can be. Mm-hmm. You know, he said, well, how did you feel? I said, it didn't knock me down until like the seventh day, me and my wife were, because I could just kept coughing. Mm-hmm. Okay. And my wife couldn't sleep, so she got pissed off, made me go to the doctor. <laughs> and the doctor says, I don't know what you got. It's not the flu. It's Damn. not the cold. It's maybe it could be bronchitis. <laughs> Here, take some of this antibiotic. I said, antibiotics for bacterial, not for a virus. I mm-hmm. said, this is something different. You know, and then on that seventh day, it made me sleep for 12 straight hours. Yeah, Damn. I got so tired. Yeah, yeah I got really tired. tired. I was just I was like, so I was like this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, my wife said, you're not getting, no. 
No, I, I already called everybody and counseled everything. Yeah. I said, I said something is not right. And then the very next day, gone. gone. It was gone. Oh, isn't that weird? Yeah, it was so weird. Yeah, it was gone. The, the the tiredness, the lethargy was the worst. I think yeah. you don't yeah. want to touch your phone. You're literally just on your bed. Oh, yeah. like I've never been that tired. I've never been that tired. I have ever. I was just, yeah. And and the second shot I had to get did the same thing. Oh really? really? Oh, it was first shot. I didn't feel shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> you were good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they said, you know, oh, Johnny, you got to stay here for 15 minutes. I said, no, I got to go. Okay. <laughs> and I was gone. And I came back after a bodybuilding contest, and they gave me that second shot. And it was like 10 o'clock that night. I was like, I'm kind of, it's about time to go to bed. And next thing I know, it was like, Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? And, I, and we had a company party the next day at 6 o'clock. Thank God he moved it to 6.30. And he even saw it when I walked in. He's like, dude, you looked, it was an axe throwing party too. Oh, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I was like, okay. I said, this is not going well. One of these well. axes gets so heavy. Right? Oh, yeah. I'm like, That's it. this is not going well at all. And he said, man, you look. I said, yeah, I got the second shot yesterday. Oh. And he was like, Oh, and he never, and my partner never got the shot. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't, I never and got he, it. And he yeah. never has, has had it. No shit. <laughs> well, I, I didn't get the vaccine because I had, I had COVID. I already Same. had it. I was yeah. like, I don't know, like I was fine. Also, that's a pretty good vaccine yeah. to have mm-hmm. it, you know, like you have your natural, natural immunity. And even my doctor told me, he was like, my doctor got it. And he was actually like testing himself to see how his antibodies were and everything with it. And like a year later, he like still has. I said, only reason, like I said, I got it is because I didn't want to be, Fighting with anybody if For I have sure, to, yeah, if yeah. I have to, you know, because I'm gonna be traveling. Yeah. yeah, you know, I just didn't want don't that want to, to happen. Yeah, yeah. I just don't too wanna, much. Yeah, yeah. It's too much. Especially and I at said, that time. and then I told him, I said, plus I'm 57 years old, so I mean, you know, I got my kids and grandkids, and hmm? I said, what's the worst that can happen at that point? You got everything you need. Yeah, I got everything I need. Yeah. I said, yeah. I said, I'm not dying. I said, yeah. I said, I, I said, I went to Iraq. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah good they point. shot me up with every damn thing. <laughs> Before we got on the damn plane. Yeah. So I said, I mean, they were shooting us up with stuff we weren't even supposed to have. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you think I'm worried about this? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I said, go to the gym. Mm-hmm. Just go to the gym, people. Stay healthy. Eat right. You know, get you some cardio. Get you some resistance weights in. And I said, it doesn't take that long. You know, and I said, you and get rest. Rest is going to be the most important thing. Okay, because I believe that's when when I got that second shot, that's what did it. I just needed to, the body said, oh, we can't do, no, you got to sit, just lay down. Yeah. yeah, there's that quote, it's like have enough discipline to rest yeah. or whatever. Because I was like laying yeah. down in the bed like this. Yeah. Just out. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to sleep. Mm-hmm. Okay, what time I got to be at this party? So it means I got to be up at 5.30 and see shower and then... Wife gets home, we drive down there. I think I can be able to make this. <laughs> yeah, I got five hours. Yeah, I, catch, I can catch a nap between this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was literally, I mean, it was literally from 10 o'clock at night when I laid down until uh, four o'clock in the afternoon the next wow. day. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's insane. Like a, and that's when I, and, and then I train a client who works for the government who thinks he knows it all. Mm. And they just came back from a cruise in now. He got COVID <laughs> <laughs> after having everything else, uh-huh. yeah. you know. And I said, "That's why we're working out." Yeah, yeah. Get that said, body prepare ready. your body. You got to or- prepare your body. Yeah. I, I said, natural immunity definitely works. That's how kids, and that's how we all grew up. Okay, that's why you. you I mean, if you get an allergy, that's one thing. But I said, mm-hmm. yeah. your body knows what to combat, unless mm-hmm. you. You have a, um, a genetic deficiency of some sort. Yeah, mm-hmm. the placebo effect is real. That's why they account for it. Yeah. So your body can do more than people think. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, well, your mind and the body. Right. They, they yeah. work in in tandem. Mm-hmm. So you know, I mean, the body is going to feel something and signal the brain. The brain is going to come back and say, "All right, we're going to figure this one out." Mm-hmm. Yeah. The same thing with lifting weights. That's why when you asked me in the beginning when I lift weights, how do I do it? I said, "Well, that's because." There's no rhyme, no reason. There is a reason, but it's, you know, there's no specific method right. because the mind and the body, that's what they mean by mind-body connection. Yeah. Okay, and that's what a lot of people, 
you know, they lost all of that because they let the government get involved and let it be politicized. Mm -hmm. Once it got politicized, then, you know, I said, so you didn't like the orange man, okay? <laughs> okay, you didn't like him, but his shit seemed to work. <laughs> right. I'm just, I'm just saying, you can be, you know. I still got some friends who are devout Democrats. I said it's okay to be a Democrat. I'm not in any of those tribes. Mm -hmm. I said, I said his shit just. What he said was it worked. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's happening now is not working. No, no. <laughs> yeah. okay. no. Yeah. this ain't working. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. but I think it's pretty. Uh... It's a pretty standard idea, I think, now. Yeah, I think it's pretty commonly accepted. <laughs> yeah, well, now, Shit just ain't working, right? Yeah, now. yeah okay, everybody working. just, I mean, I say, even when your own party doesn't, is, is distance mm -hmm. themselves from you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's a really strange thing. Like when, yeah. they were, when they were interviewing that young girl from New York, Ocasio, Ocasio-Cortez, there, she's like... ACO? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So AOC? They're like, yeah. yeah, AOC, they're like, yeah. so what do you, are you, gonna, um, are you going to uh, vote for Biden in the next thing? She's like... Well, you know, there's a lot of great things going on today. And <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> she's, like, trying to avoid yeah, it. Yeah. Well, he's just, he's just an old man, you know. I, I Like, I always, tell, I always tell him I feel so bad for him. I feel that's, like, just, like, some old I man with, like, dementia. No, he doesn't <laughs> I, know I what's do going not on. Feel, I do not feeling. feel bad for you. I'm like this. I said, you want it to be there. True. Okay, you chose. True. That's true. Okay? I don't even know if he chose it. Someone chose it. I don't know if it was him. <laughs> This is what I always keep asking everybody. When they when he was running, right? And he was in his basement. <laughs> oh, you uh, How do you know he didn't have COVID? <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah. Remember that? He, he was, was locked yeah, up for like he was down there for months. Days. They weren't letting him out. <laughs> they were, think about it. No interviews, nothing. Just think yeah, about it. God, he yeah. never came. He was always on Zoom. Yeah. That's true. Oh okay? my god, I remember. He was that. on Zoom. I, and I said, How do y'all know he didn't have COVID? That's so mm -hmm. true. I said, and I said, and now when I look at him as a commander in chief, okay, I was in the military. Do you see how he walks when he gets off the damn plane or the helicopter? I said, and you are the leader of the free world? Mm -hmm. Dude, you, you look like you can't even, you need a cane or that yeah. little scooter thing <laughs> with <laughs> tennis balls on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, and then he fell on his bike. Yeah. <laughs> that was hilarious. That actually. was the funniest that was thing ever. I said, video. I said, I said, that's a good one. Yeah. I said, I, I, I wasn't even trying to pay attention to it until they yeah. kept repeating. Who's that, who let him get on a bike? <laughs> right. Who like allowed him to, doesn't he, he have like guards do and stuff? Today. Everyone's like, yeah, that's a good it's, idea. It's get probably like, like, you know, like when your parents let you do something for like, like well, you know, he's, he's older now. Like maybe he can try it. He'll, he'll do fine, honey. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Then he got on there. And he, who was like, yeah, that's a good idea. I told you you shouldn't have done that. I was like this. I was like, Really? <laughs> I said, George W. rode his bike, and he still rides it. Y you can't even stand up on the bike. <laughs> I said, okay. That was a white. I said, you can't even walk up the stairs Literally. of Air Force One. Mm -hmm. Okay, without stumbling. I said, and they put you on a bike. You know what's crazy, too, is they they how many times did they beg for Trump to get his, like, mental and physical health checked? We've never heard one person ask them to get a mental and physical oh, no, health no, check. no, no, no. <laughs> On Fox News. Uh, they did? Have they done it? Uh, Steve Ducey does. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, I haven't. I, I yeah, would he do, love. He, do, he does. And, and, no, he. Pr oh, he pushes them hard. Good. He pushes them hard. Good. I mean, he's like. And, 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 and that so-called. Jean Perrine, whatever her name is, mm -hmm. why do you have to tell us that you're an immigrant, first black woman, lesbian? <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? Yeah, what does that have to do with anything? So begin. <laughs> yeah, okay, so start talking. <laughs> this, you know, and, and I said, answer the question. Yeah. yeah. It's like, you know, you know, I taught my daughter that a long time ago. I said, listen to the Q and the A. Mm. Not the people. Mm -hmm. mm. And then in your mind, does it make sense? Mm. Okay. The answers that is coming back. That woman, I'm like, you know, you ain't going to be in this job long. <laughs> I said, I thought Pasaki was bad, but you, you know, Pasaki always kept saying, well, we'll circle around. We'll circle back to you. <laughs> we'll circle around. I'm like, but you never came back around. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm very curious to see what happens in these upcoming upcoming midterms. 2022 November. Oh, oh my God. boy! I'm like, yeah. I'm like, 
I'm actually really, I'm very curious what's going to happen. You guys got the TV zone? Yeah. I, I'll bring some popcorn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll do it. Because, you know, bring some popcorn, beer. Y'all want beer? We yeah. can all just line some, up right there. Some JD and low, low sugar Coke. Yeah. yeah, we just sit there like this. <laughs> Waiting to watch. Oh him. come on! Because you know it's it's obvious like every elect every like you know when it's Republican it always flips. It right. just depends yeah. on how much. Yeah. So yeah. that's when people were shitty on Trump last year. It's like, well, it's flipped. But like people were looking at the stats and they're saying, well, it flipped like the lowest it has in like such a long time. Mm -hmm. So like people were shitting on. But I'm like, it's not really a shit on. Like it happens. Yeah. Every fucking part. Every, every time. Like, yeah. Every yeah. time it yeah. flips. So it this one changes. I'm expecting. Could you imagine it's going to be a huge? Imagine huge, if, huge. imagine if they gain more seeds. We, we'll have oh to know something's God. going on. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to know something. Is going on. <laughs> Something fishy must be going on yeah. that that happens. Yeah, well, that's going to be really weird because I I it's this is I mean because they already have 30, 35 of them retiring out of Congress. Oh, wow. wow, that is insane. Yeah, they do some. some and then young, the yeah. primaries are going on now, hmm. and the Republicans are just they're just like raking over the coals. I'm like, damn. <laughs> just said, dub after dub. I, I said, I said, November's gonna be boy. I gotta get my popcorn ready. I think I'm gonna get caramel corn this time. Yeah, <laughs> go down to Garrett's. <laughs> go down to Garrett's and get it. <laughs> Sit there like this, <laughs> just watching. And yeah, it'll be crazy to see, especially in 24, like what all goes down. Well, well, 2024 is still a long way away. I know, long way. but but yeah. we need to get rid of 2022 first, yeah. November, and yeah. it's coming up quick. And yeah, once that happens, we're we're, we're all right decent. for a little bit. There's yeah. Not much well, yeah, because he can't. Well, he's a lame really duck now. There's really, he hasn't really done shit. He hasn't, as yeah, it nothing is. Has he really hasn't happened. done nothing. He's he's, yeah. he's 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 described what exactly what everyone thought a boring president. That no one. Yeah. It's exactly Which, what it is. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, that's what everyone expected. Like yeah. I, I expected. Well, I expected like, a boring president, yeah. but I didn't expect an, an inept president. Yeah, right. There's a yeah. difference. For There's sure. a big difference. Yeah. Boring. Yeah, boring's okay, okay if, if it doesn't cause any boring. controversy and people are okay with each other and and it's peaceful. Well, that's okay, that, remember that's what he ran on. You, right. But, you know, bringing the country back together. Yeah. And I said, I said his, I said I called all of this back in the day. Only thing I couldn't call was Afghanistan. Mm. I was yeah, going to ask you about that. I was trying. I, I, was trying not, oh my. I did. I said, yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. I said, the economy, I figured, okay, because I know they were trying to do this green thing, you know, green and all deal. of that shit, and they're still trying to do it. Mm -hmm. But I said, Afghanistan, I said, this is like Hillary Clinton's Benghazi. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I said, there's certain things as a vet that you, we just can't forgive. Mm -hmm. we I'm like, uh uh. You don't leave people, never leave anybody behind. And, and you know, I asked the regular person, I said, I said, okay, you're a Democrat. That's fine. I don't care. I said, if you had a bunch of troops in the country and people in the country and you needed to get them out, who would you get out first? Okay, would it be the military or would it be the civilians? Military. Civilians. Civilians. civilians first. Well, military civilians after. first. Yeah. yeah. For yeah, sure. Well, that's not what he did. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, they left a lot of people. Which and, was and then, are you talking and, about like American and, civilians, right? That were there? Civilians, period. Anyone I mean, that yeah. needs to be safe, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, because yeah. I mean, I mean, we had a lot of uh, um, Afghans that were our partners. That were helping, that were working yeah. with us. Yeah. And that's who you get out first. Yeah. You, you, the military is the last people to go. And you don't close. The main Air Force base there with the prisoners next door. Yeah. Literally. Literally. You know, I, like I said, wh whose idea was this? Mm -hmm. it was, and you guys are still in office? Right. <laughs> like, there was a way to do it. It just wasn't done right at all. Sure. <laughs> Trump. Not not like that. It like wasn't even really thought through it. No, it wasn't like, thought. It was like it, it seemed like it was just like a spontaneous like manic yeah. decision. Like fuck, leave it, let's now. Get out of there. Let's yeah. go. It, it did seem yeah. like well, he wanted to do it on September 11th. Hmm. Oh wow! In honor wow. of September 11th, that's what he wanted to do. Hmm. That seems kind okay. of flipped. Yeah, yeah. that seems yeah. a little. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean that's the truth. I mean, wow. I, 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 you can look it up. I mean, that was what their plan was. Get everybody out on September 11th and then come up back over here and celebrate that we got everybody out. Wow. Watch his approval go up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It was an extreme and, 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 and when I saw that, I was like, this is not happening. No, 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 no. This can't be happening. And then, and, and I was talking to one of my students over at my studio. It was the funniest thing. And it was at, 8.30 in the morning when the class ended. And I said, 
She said, what do you think is going to happen? I said, it's going to be a terror attack on the airport. Mm-hmm. And before mm-hmm. I got to Lombard, they killed 13 of our people. That's the same. Yeah, it's fucked up. You know, I said, I said, I said, I don't like to call anything like that. I said, but I said, I said, the way this, these people are going, I said, you got a bunch of sixth graders in his cabinet. Okay. And and only thing they did was everybody in his cabinet was to check a box. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Every, everybody was there. Okay. You got a first black VP who called him a racist and a pedophile. Mm-hmm. <laughs> really? Right. That would have been the last person I would yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, girl, no, 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 no. no, no <laughs> you are not. You, yeah. You, yeah, you, she's, like, she's like this. She's like, well, it's a presidential race. Yes, it's, but I'm like, no. You it's not it, what Joe. you do. She's like, that's what you do. <laughs> no, I said, it's not what you do. Okay, and then you put, you know, the first gay man in, in charge of transportation. Who knows nothing about transportation? <laughs> yeah, literally. They okay. just put people in. Okay. Like, it's all like a political move. He was just trying yeah. to go something. What does that have to do with anything? Yeah, like, what do you, you know? And then you like, got a health director who's a transgender. And I'm like, <laughs> who are these people? So he's just yeah. checking social boxes. Just checking boxes. Just yeah. checking boxes and, and, and you know, I mean, I'm not trying to get political here, but I mean, it is oh, what it is. Oh, we're way yeah. past that. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. I tell him. I said, I said, I said, really? You know, and then when I pointed out to people, some people were like, no, no, John, it's not like that. My friend today even said, well, he's not in charge of the gas prices around the world. I said, no, but his policies are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I said, when you're the leader of the free world and you speak, everybody's listening. True. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's a problem. You know what the funny one is right now? <laughs> is this, you know, that little tax they're taking off the gas right now? Uh, what, what, what's it doing? And not, listen. <laughs> Five years ago, Obama was talking about the same thing and saying this whole tax because some other figure that he was running against was talking about. It. He's like, "This is a, it's a, it's bullshit." Basically, he was saying he's like, "What are you gonna say? Five cents in four months?" And then like now, Biden's doing, doing the same kind of thing. funny. Yeah. 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 Well, a lot of people think Barack is the one who's still running the damn line. I could see that's what I think, honestly. <laughs> okay. I mean, and I'm like, I totally given ideas. At, at this particular point, I said, I don't. I, I said, this is this is beyond me. I'd um, rather it was him giving the speeches at least. Yeah. At yeah. Least yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I, yeah. I mean, he's an eloquent speaker. He's an yeah. amazing speaker. Yeah. Incredible. Okay. Yeah. You know, but but I mean, this dude here, I mean, he's. Fumbling over everything. Yeah. Did, did <laughs> no, tell him, but tell him what happened with <laughs> fucking. We Dom just a good impression. We too. did. Uh, he did. He was on the teleprompter today or yesterday, and he was talking. He said something about like women's rights or something like that. Oh, yes. and they should deserve to vote, and he's like, uh, "Repeat the line." And then he goes <laughs> and does, tries it again. <laughs> repeat the line. <laughs> he says it on the teleprompter. He goes, "Repeat the line." He tries to do it again, and then he stumbles on it, and yeah. he can't finish it. He's like, well, "Let me, let other, me be clear." What was the other one that he did, like in like one of our episodes here, that uh, impersonation of him? Oh yeah, when he said, uh, "America," did you see that one? America be described in one word, and he's like, "I was, I was, I was in the foothills of of the the, the mountains with, with Xi Jinping, the China." <laughs> <laughs> and it just was like, and then you see Kamala Harris in the back. She's Shish. like, "Oh God." I'm like, this guy's a clown. <laughs> He's not a clown. I, He's a I, I'd rather have a clown. That's a good yeah. point. He just like has like dementia or something. Uh, yeah, or yeah like I, some mean, sort I said, of I said this dude, yeah. and then he said something about uh, we, uh, the, the SCOTUS, and he, he doesn't know anything about the Constitution. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay, I said. It's so wild to me. SCOTUS sent it back to the states mm-hmm. because it wasn't supposed to be there mm-hmm. anyway. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's up to the, and then you're going out there saying, vote, vote, <laughs> vote, <laughs> vote. <laughs> and I sat there and looked at them, I'm like, who are they voting for? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, right. Just, just vote. Go They're vote. They're supposed to vote for their state legislative. That's where it went back to. Mm-hmm. Do you understand the Constitution? Mm-hmm. Constant, uh, I told people, I said, you know, some women say, well, you know, abortion. I said, abortion was never in the Constitution. Mm-hmm. Read it. Have you read it? Mm-hmm. Well, no. I said, then I think you need to go look it up online and read it. You will never see anything about abortion in the Constitution. Mm-hmm. I said, it's up to the states. Well, then now they're going to take away gay rights and gay marriage. I'm like, <laughs> I said, the man Thomas just told you that that has nothing to do with this ruling. Yeah. And yeah. they have no intention of messing with that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Unless you guys bring some other case up against it. 
Okay, and then you're going to make them. It's like, look, it's not in the Constitution. Mm -hmm. And so I said, if you don't understand the Constitution, then, I, you know, I tell some people, I said, Sh shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> well, and they were, like, protesting in, in a lot, like, in Chicago and stuff, and it's like, it's a Wrong state's place. decision. And it's still legal here. Like, it's a state's decision, and it's okay. So, yeah. like, who so are you going to burn your city down? Yeah, who are you protesting? Yeah, who are you protest yeah I mean, and, you then, and, then, and then it's against the law to be in, in protesting in front of Supreme Court Justice's house. And then when they were eating at Kavanaugh, they were eating at Morton Steakhouse, and then they, They're out. And, you know, and he had to go out through the back door mm -hmm. with his family. I said, that's illegal. Yeah. Okay. But DOJ's, you know, I mean, Marilyn Garden is still pissed off because they didn't pass his ass onto the court. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey. Okay. I said, we're going to see where this is going to go this summer. I, I said, know. we got about a month and a half left. Let's see where this goes. Let's see. <laughs> okay. And that's what I tell people. I said, oh, no. I said, we get the rest. Of, see, July is almost over. August is the recess. Mm -hmm. It's when September comes. That's when the shit's going to hit the fan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Great. <laughs> okay. And, I, and that's when I'm going to say, okay, let me get, where's Garrett's at? Where's yep. my nearest Garrett's? <laughs> Let's get this popcorn Let's ready. Let's make it happen. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah. That was awesome. So you guys got any more questions for me? No, this is all good. This Thank you so good. much. Wait, I really we appreciate you topics. coming on. Yeah, yeah. we hit everything. <laughs> we hit everything, all of it. We hit my personal favorite politics. I yeah. love that one. That, that one yeah. always zones me in right away. <laughs> well, no, most how old are you? 24? Yeah, most most people your age have no clue. Yeah, mm -hmm. they, true. They're, they're just following along with the liberal policies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They're following the herd. You yeah. Know, it's really not is. even a herd. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what the hell it is. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, on the expressway, we call it the pack. It's like mm -hmm. a bee swarm. Yeah, it's, it's a swarm. Yeah, that's what yeah, it is, a swarm. Yeah, a yeah. You know, all of the ants all in the same Literally, place and yeah. su surrounding the queen and bringing yeah. stuff in because I'm like... All heading different ways but kind of in the same direction. Yeah, Because yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah. I'm like, you know, my daughter, she understands, but she gets, you know, my niece and them, I'm like, are you sure you're my niece? Yeah. <laughs> I, said, I said, because... You, you, I said, you smoke weed. You you got a, you get the license for the dispensary for your mother, right? Yeah. If these fools take over, that is gone. Do mm -hmm. you know that? But even my mother, who's 76, I told her. <laughs> I said, so, Mom, you really believe this bullshit? Well, what else? I mean, I know who has time to... Research that I said I, I didn't research it. People just send me shit. Okay, <laughs> I, I just read it. Yeah. Okay, I mean it's they're fast reads. I said and I said let's use it logically. And I said this. I said your nice little condo that we got you here will be gone. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's just how bad it can really get if if they try to make us socialist because yeah. that's their whole. Object 100%. 100% to make us a socialist country. Mm -hmm. And I said, that's not something you really want. My yeah. buddy lives in Miami, and then we'll. <laughs> my buddy lives in Miami, and he, you know, everyone there is from, you know, usually Venezuela, Cuba, mm -hmm. stuff like that. He's got a lot of friends from Venezuela, and at one point, Venezuela was really, really prosperous. And mm -hmm. they say that they are seeing the exact same thing that happened to them and why they left happening to this country now. And oh, yes. Like, yeah. It's terrifying because... Not, well, not only that. I mean, I have clients, like I said, that one doctor, his wife's from, from Romania. Mm -hmm. And she says, these Americans better wake up because this is what we saw there. Yeah. Okay. You know, and what's happening in um, Ukraine, I said... You know, I said, it, it makes no sense to me, okay, to decimate an entire country to take it over, because mm -hmm. I don't know who's going to fix it back up. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah, mean, right. I mean. What's, yeah, what's the reason? I mean, what's, what, what's your purpose? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I said, but that's what they do. That's the playbook, mm -hmm. okay, for, you know, dictators and communism, mm -hmm. you know, and then Xi Jinping is just sitting back. Hmm. Analyzing. How are we going to do this to Taiwan? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah, just a matter of time. That's the next one. Yeah, for sure. It's yeah. scary. And then yeah. the, the guy in Japan, I can't remember his name. Oh, yeah, the, the guy Abi. assassinated. Abi. Abi. Yeah. Shinko Abi. Yeah, and, they, and, you know, and you know, I'm like, they got the strictest gun laws in the world. Like, yeah. You can't have a gun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And somebody made a made gun. Made a damn gun. Made a gun. Oh, did? Yeah. Was it yeah, made? Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. It was yeah. handmade. Because they saw no a lot way. of smoke. They're, they're yeah, expecting. Yeah, handmade, Whoa. two shots, shot him. 
Isn't that crazy? When there's I a do, will, there's a way. Who do, you think, who do you think had him? I feel like someone had to have had him do that. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Sure. You never know. Like another, yeah, he could have been. Because the guy not, was saying, he's you, like, I, mean, he's he's like, like I don't even disagree with your policies. <laughs> yeah, someone probably was like, I, you're going to go kill this guy. Fast. Yeah. I'm like. Well, like, I mean, and then someone like, probably, like wanted him to take the fall maybe for yeah. it. So it didn't fall back on, you know, it was like a Russian thing. Who knows? I don't know. Who knows? I mean, I mean, you I'm sticking with the Russians. Russian, Russia did it. You heard it here. Well, I mean, I, I tell people up front, I said, look, I said, in today's time, I said, I don't know who's doing what. Yeah. You don't. I really don't. Yeah. I said, you know, I mean, you know, Hillary and them had people disappear. Mm. <laughs> yeah, there was actually, a guy that was, that was hung with a Yeah, there was a guy, like, yeah. uh, I think it was Mar uh, Mark White, something. I forgot his name. He's 59 years old. He was uh, Bill Clinton's um, special advisor for a long time and was pretty close with, like, the Epstein thing, invited him over multiple times to the White oh, House, flew on his plane. Yeah. <laughs> this guy is found, like, two weeks ago on a different oh, property really? in Arkansas hanging with an, by an extension cord with a shot gun blasted his chest and they ruled it a suicide <laughs> <laughs> isn't that crazy that's a good one. like that's fucking crazy. that's, that's, a, suicide. that's a horror how, movie how yeah. is that even yeah, like, like suicide yeah. maybe a fucking like, extension like cord and then think... a shotgun blast to the chest and go that must have killed himself yeah. how dumb do they think people are Everybody's right like, oh, well he suicide, obviously huh? must have blasted himself first then and then hung yeah. himself yeah isn't that crazy I don't even know about that one. That, that that's that that's a new. One. And there wasn't like yeah. a lot of blood. I got apparently there was like well, no, it was when you get a shotgun blast. There is no blood really. <laughs> just, I mean, it's just because God. the 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 pellets are so they, they uh, cauterize everything as mm. it's going through you. That's oh, insane. No yeah, way. that's yeah. wild. Yeah, so it's not like you know you gonna get all of this blood. I mean, you will get splatter in the On back. the back, yeah, yeah. Okay, but in the front, no, it's all cauterized because of the pellets. That's insane. <laughs> but I'm like, how, how do you, you hang yourself and then and shoot, shoot yourself yeah. with a shotgun? Like, how do you even, like, you gotta. I was like, when you're hanging, like, you're not gonna have that much control over anything. He had his you're... big toe out. He was like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, you know, I'll say, God, you all really must think we're stupid. I know. Yeah, they, they really I, I don't said, I said, I said, right. you know, and I hate, you know, I don't like to harp on the, you know, the, the party thing, but I said, you Democrats really, really think that. I said, you're about to mess with something that you really don't want to get into. Mm -hmm. yeah. I said, because I said, you're mainly on the East Coast and the West Coast. Okay, you guys, you know, some idiots in Illinois somewhere. <laughs> I said, but you start messing with people from Montana, mm -hmm. New Mexico. I said, and I said, what's going on at the border? Man, y'all about to... You know, you, talking about you don't like rednecks? Boy, they about to step up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right, yeah. I said, and I told my mother, she said, well, if something hits the fan, where you going to go with the rednecks? Yeah. <laughs> uh. That's where I'm going, Mom. Yeah, I got my weapons at home. You got, you see, here's my foreign card. Yeah, I'm rolling. I said, I, yeah. I said, where, where you going to go? Okay, I said, that's where I'd rather be. I said, because these people are just, I said, this is Idiots. Yeah, I'm going mm -hmm. to Texas. Yeah, yeah Texas, <laughs> Florida. Just get down there. And, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm gonna hang out with the Cubans or something. Yeah. Yeah. Being little Cuba, I, I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> I said, I said because this right here, this is just, this is out of control. It is it's weird. I, you almost like expect like something would is gonna hit the fan or something mm -hmm. eventually. Oh, it, it's going yeah. to. It's going yeah. to. Like Texas is trying to like just leave the country. Texas is like fuck this. Did you guys hear about that? They're always yeah. trying. They to just want to. They're like, we're done. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The governor down there, I mean, he, he's in his, you know, I don't know what happened to his leg, but he's in the wheelchair. It's like, you know, yeah, we need, just need to break camp. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I'm done fighting with you guys. <laughs> I mean, yeah, because, I mean, the, I mean, our government ain't doing shit. No, yeah. not at all. Yeah, you know. I, I, I bet <laughs> yeah. he's, how much I bet, I bet he's going to run. Huh? I bet Pritzker's going to run. Pritzker? Pritzker's, he's going to run president? for president, I think really? so. I bet. Oh, no shit, boy. boy. <laughs> <laughs> he, is like, he is like what people thought Trump was, but actually, I yeah, feel like. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? He's a fat man. No. Hey, have, you, have you ever seen his brother? Yeah. <laughs> no. No, who's his brother? First uh, billionaire transgender. Oh, oh no God. way. It's the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life, actually. <laughs> it looks, imagine Pritzker just with like a hair, <laughs> hair on. <laughs> That actually just sounds hilarious. It's nasty looking. Yeah. yeah. No, Prince of Runs, boy, I'm like, you, you don't even have a campaign here in Illinois. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm, I'm saying. Because this is the primaries, mm -hmm. you know, and then 
the, the guy from Aurora, Irvin, I'm like, you are a snake. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you are a snake. And they that, all are. that's because yeah. I have, I train a client who's worked and still works for the government as a consult. Okay. And she knows these people. Yeah. And she's like, uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah. Oh no, John. And then she explains it to me. I'm like, really? Mm. You know, I mean, I don't get into Illinois politics because, I mean, it's a blue state, you know. I mm-hmm. mean, I still vote conservative, but I'm like, really? I mean, I, I said, there's no there's no campaign going mm-hmm. on here. I mean, yeah. where the hell's the shit at? Uh-huh. <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> you know, Prince he got one. He, he says, I'm being endorsed by Mr. <laughs> Irvin over here in Aurora. Yeah. Well, he's crooked too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're all yeah. crooked. The state's always been crooked. Yeah, well, I know the state's it. always yeah, been crooked, but never, I mean, yeah. most states are crooked. I mean, well, I, politics yeah. are. Yeah, politics yeah. are crooked, but yeah. I mean, like I said, it's so in front of people's faces now. Yeah, they, they're they're just, yeah. you know. I said, you guys don't see this. Mm-hmm. I said it's right. I said with our social media, the news, and everything now. I said this is upfront and personal. Mm-hmm. Right in front of your face. So I said, how could you not see this? It's like disrespectful. They don't care if you see. Yeah, it. I right. mean, I said, I said they're lying, right? I said, look what happened to Cuomo. Mm-hmm. I knew he was lying to begin with. <laughs> I, I said, oh no. And then his brother, and they playing games on TV doing a COVID thing. Oh, no, like, that shit was so funny. I was sitting up there like, really? <laughs> and then all of a sudden, when they get fired, people say, oh, that shouldn't have happened. I was yeah. like, <laughs> they got caught. Yeah. You didn't see it. I said. I, I said. I didn't need someone to tell me that these these guys are full of shit. Mm-hmm. It's like the Dave Chappelle thing. He's like, I knew that motherfucker was lying. <laughs> yeah. I, I, that's all I can say. I knew he was lying. I said, but then you, when you talk to me or somebody like me, then you want to argue. Right. Mm-hmm. Don't yeah. argue with me. Yeah. I said, I'm, I'm not the last one. I mean, mm-hmm. I even got friends who went to Reverend Wright's church. Was a deacon. Mm. Yeah, you know, he used to preach that shit to me all the time. Mm-hmm. John, you got to come to, oh, hell no, uh-uh. No, <laughs> no, you and Obama, y'all can have that shit. All of a sudden, two months ago, calls me out the blue. Yeah, yeah, me and my wife, we were going through a divorce, and, you know, uh, I said, well, how's the church doing? Oh, I quit that. Oh, really? <laughs> you? <laughs> you quit the church. <laughs> okay, explain that one to me. Well, they start doing this transgender thing, and and I'm like, oh, huh. welcome, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what I was saying. I'm like, hmm, hmm. And and you guys wonder why I never went to the church. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay? that's why I don't go to church. Mm-hmm. I said I know almost all of them. Mm-hmm. I said, you know, good to do business with you. But no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not part of your congregation. Right. No. Okay. Just don't want it. No. It's just, it's not that. I said, they're all working like the government. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I said, the government has already screwed me over already. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I don't even want to hear it. My mm-hmm. wife got mad at me. Give me a tax bill. Illinois. Say, I owe him $143. I said, yeah, that's the state of Illinois. Yeah. yeah. Blame Mr. Prisser for that. Yeah. I said, I don't know how we keep owing them. When the government gives us back a couple thousand dollars, and the state gives me back a hundred, I mean, yeah. making me pay a hundred for it, like, how in the hell does that happen? Yeah, I had that same thing. I just got like a letter for that too. I was like, how do I owe? How do yeah, I how do you, I, already, how I owe you? I was like, I already paid my yeah. taxes. How do I owe you more now? Like, I, I paid the bill that it said was due. That's insane. And then I just got another bill for it. So I don't know. <sighs> Yeah, it's, 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 well, it's going to be a hoot. Yeah. yeah. I'm just waiting for 2022. Well, I'll November. see. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, like I said, I'm going to have my Garrett's up there. Order me some popcorn. Get some, <laughs> Make it get some chicken wings there. <laughs> Kick back in my recliner and <laughs> let me watch. Just like I did with Trump. Yeah. <laughs> I'm serious. When he, when, he was being, when he was being elected, I did the same thing. I sat back and I'm like... Oh, y'all thought he wasn't going to get elected. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, when he did in 2016, bro, I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> and then all of a sudden I had to talk to Comcast and the lady was on the phone. I said, oh, he's about to take Arizona. And then she started crying on the phone. <laughs> no way. Yeah. I'm like, excuse me. <laughs> I'm like, I said, well, what did you expect? He can't win. I said, well, he already has like 260 <laughs> 
electoral with some <laughs> random ass lady on Comcast, <laughs> like customer service. Yeah, so old customer service. I'm <laughs> serious. It was like, and then she started crying on me, and I'm like, huh? <laughs> I said, oh, well, I hate to break your heart. Did you fix my problem? <laughs> and she said, oh yeah, yeah, we did the ping test. Everything's back up. He just won. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! And I was like, "Yeah, That's crazy. <laughs> this was awesome, though. Thank yeah, you thank so you. much for coming on. Thank I really appreciate, appreciate it. Yeah. yeah, thank not you. Where can everyone find you? Shout out your social media so everyone can whatever, go and yeah, uh, follow. Pushing hard these days. Businesses, yeah. anything you want to shout out? Yeah. Oh uh, well, we got to have Beyond Human Fitness. Uh, that is uh, my personal uh, training program and fitness program for nutrition as well. So you can hit me up there for beyond.human.fitness on Instagram. And then also we have uh, at Napier Fit Body. Um, that is in Naperville, North Naperville, right off Deal Road in 88. Okay, first computer experts. Any computer problem you have, unless it's dealing with Comcast, <laughs> <laughs> or AT&T now, um, you just give me a call. Okay, you can always find me on Facebook. My name is John Parrish, otherwise AKA Jax from Mortal Kombat. And uh, we'll see you guys then. Awesome. Yeah, thank, thank you, you thank so you much. Guys. Thank you. See you guys. That was awesome. That was awesome. Thank you so yeah. much. <laughs> I enjoyed that. Oh, yeah, that was good. <laughs> oh. We were solid. We had three minutes left of recording time. Oh, nice. <laughs> All right.